Mazo Okonkwo is the second son of Lucy Okonkwo, of course. My mother is a very lovely woman, and I love her more than anything on earth. So, and Mazo Okonkwo is uh, living in Amsterdam with two children, Joshua and Joma. And my first son is 16 years, and my second is almost seven. So I greet the Lord for blessing me. Why am I saying this? I have no right to come and tell you my ecclesiastic title, but I want to talk, talk calmly tonight, this early morning. For you, it can be tonight. For me, it is good morning. So I greet you all. I must uh, say it is a burden for me to stand this early morning to talk to us because it is needed to talk to us. And of course, before I will begin to speak to us, I would like to lead us in this two minutes or five minutes early morning prayer so that we will uh, dip into what we have come to do. And uh, of course, I am voted member in IPOB under the leadership of one and only Mazu Onyendu. I have many brothers and sisters. I have Owa Sophia as my sister. And I have also Charles Eze as my brother. I have Juan Kego as my sister. I have I have a lot of people. I have uh, I have Ada Asade as my sister. I have many women as my sister. I have Chichi Aneta as my sister. I have Ikenga, uh, Ikenga Ibo TV as my own brother. And I also have a lot of people, my uh, brothers and sisters, Tamano Toye, all of us, Tabo Fista. These are my brothers. So I don't feel like I lose anything. This are my brother. I have also Mazezu Kuchineke as my elder brother. So people who have this kind of people, I don't think that you are left alone. So it is my privilege to be an activist under the leadership of Mazen and the kind of people who do not understand the quality that this man possess are the people who begin to look back and begin to betray their people. But me, as long as Nam the Kanu lives, I will never stop talking the truth. As long as Mazen Namo the Kano lives, I will be a brother to Sister Sophia Owa. Because there are things that matters. Things that matters is what we have to come to talk about today. But before then, I will try my best to lead us into this particular early morning prayer. And I will call Chuko Kabiyama to come and bless us this early morning. The whole night, my heart is troubled and I couldn't sleep. I was talking with my sister, Wanke Goji, the whole night. We are fixing things as one and only. And like I told you people, women are more my friends. And also my woman in the house know that women, I don't have more men friends. I don't have more men friends. Do you know why I choose women so much as my, 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 my friends? Uh, women, they are so um, they are so feminine. They will teach you things. They will correct you when you are missing the road. They will also try to correct you. Every woman is a mother, whether she have a child or not. She is a mother. She will always bring you back when you are going wrong. You know, my brain was going faster than the speed of light. So I didn't call any other person but my sister one cable. So we begin to romance together in the brain. There's something we call uh brainstorming, you know. So she begin to tell me that I should take it easy, that everything gonna be okay. And we begin to talk deep things about Biafra and of course and the existence of Biafra and she calmed my spirit. Even she did not even know. She was asking me, Maz, when are you going to be online? I say, you know, me I have one kind of spirit in Igbo language, say Onya Wune, man, means uh, so many pastors who translate it as somebody who is possessed. I am possessed with the spirit of Biafra, you must know that. If you're looking, if your pastor asks you, do you know anybody who is possessed, tell him you know one man is possessed. And when you, your pastor asks you which kind of spirit is he possessed of, tell that person that you are possessed with the spirit of Biafra. Because when the spirit of Biafra possesses you, Number one, it is possible you will deny your parents. It is possible you will denounce where you are born. It is possible you will denounce your upper, your chief, your exes, and all these people to stand alone. And people, of course, will give you a nickname like me and my sister Sophia. They will call you a controversial person. But let me define controversies or controversial person. A controversial person is a person that chooses his own way of life. A controversial person is a person that knows that this life is not going to be the eternity. A controversial person sometimes, do you know, one madman also, there are mad, there are mad people that are controversial. 
One madman in my village in those days, uh, by name Moos, anybody who is familiar with where I come from, many people know me from my bar from Lagos or anywhere, you can identify what I'm talking about. This madman is called Moses. Moses is a controversial person. When you give him note, Naira, I was a child, early eight seventies because I'm now I'm getting old. Then Moses, when you give him on the Christmas time, this man have a hunchback. He will come with all kinds of things in Tanzania bag. You know Tanzania bag, those bags they used to put the arm, you know brown bag, swat. They call it swat bag. Most will come to stand on the pavement on between the gutter when I was growing up, and when you are passing back, coming from home to our village, we ask you, you most will begin to ask money. When you ask him most, how much do you need? He said, small, small money. When you give him five naira, you know those days when Biafra was in Nigeria, you know? When Biafra was in Nigeria, good, good talk, Mazoko. When Biafra was in Nigeria, things was good. So. When you give this madman, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm not forgetting where I'm coming from. It is too early. It is too early. Mm -hmm. When Biafra was in Nigeria, things was good, you know. Uh, even Kobo, we have only Kobo, but the next one night I was in the note. If you are familiar with my speech tonight, this early morning, tonight, this morning, the person where you're coming from, you understand what I mean. When you give somebody one night, this madman called most, when you give most a note, he will reject it and he will tell you no. Fidelia, I told you that I need much more money. Austin, I told you that I need much more money. Will you give him 20 naira? He will say no, give me some more. Will you give him one cover? He will accept it and pray for you. Then he is a controversial man on his own standard. And people still say that it's mad. Do you know what happened? When this man died, who we call mad man, when he died, the people call him madman, and after he was dead, and after he was buried, this man is shot and he have a huge hunt back, and we did not know. You know this man, I'm telling you, when death, before somebody dies in the city where I come from, many of my brothers will bear me witness, this is the first man that will come out before that person die. Maybe sometimes it, it takes two months, one month, one week before, the incident of that or mr dead visits a particular person this man will be shouting in the in the in the, in the front of the house he said that in the family of such a person they should pray they should attune they should pray that he saw he saw death coming there they should pray but the person he don't know now tell me the people see this man as mad person i think i would have prayed before i started this thing but let me finish it the people would have seen this man as a madman. People see him, sorry, as a madman, but he sees himself as himself. So now, who is mad? The person that is mad, sleeping on the street, uh, doing everything out of the village, people cascaded him because one is he's ugly and he's a hunchback man, and this man sleeps in the marketplace. I think this particular madman and of course a controversial man must have a lot of information. Now I want to hit point where I'm going. John the Baptism also, or Mazin and the Kano, people call him a man who talks too much and a controversial man, but at the same time, I think Nam this Nam the Kano, they call a madman has a lot of information. The reason why I am bringing this Moses from my village, the madman, the hunchback madman, they call him, and of course, a controversial man. Perhaps the controversial people, they have a lot of information. Let me, if I say Hamadike, Hamadike say, let me sink, uh, let me see, sip water, and he, he will swallow it, and you hear it, my water don't finish, if you hear it, the water on his throat, bagam bagam. I just woke up. When I woke up, I like to drink my water. Then, this Moses, people begin to misunderstand him. Every Christmas, from 28th of Christmas, you know, when Biafra was in Nigeria, things were good. People from Abba, people from Lagos, people from Bini, people from Edo, people from different places were already there coming back home, and he knows when to collect his due. He will definitely stand on the pavement where every individual will see him coming in. And he will be asking money. He never asks note. He asks Krekriego, small, small money. If you give him 20 naira, he will say no. If you give him note, he will say no. In those days, we have still cover. 
I'm, th I'm talking about middle 80s, 86, 84. You know, me, I'm old man. I will tell you, if you want to know my age, call me, I will tell you. <laughs> so that is it. Ebuka, I greet you. So I greet you. So now, a controversial man, sometimes as we talk about them, are people who really know who they are and their purposes of coming here on this universe. But you know, it is very difficult to accept a controversial man. When I say man, please, it is inclusive of both women and man. In the Bible, the Bible known to recognize who is a man and who is a woman. The Bible now clearly says, in understanding the man. So I am teaching on understanding level. So I want you to be man. Please, before I will go into these deep talks, remember, I'm still talking about the controversial human beings. And I would like us to pray this early morning because morning prayer can refresh and recharge your soul as you get ready to take on a day a journey with the help of the best of our uh, place possibilities or creator which we call god we should treat morning prayers as like prayer itself as a time of get getting closer to what we call god of course we call chuku for the cause she some call allah you know by our experience we have developed this love towards our God through prayer. Prayer is the only thing that unites you. It doesn't matter. You can use alcohol and attune to your God. You can use anything and attune to your God. It is all, 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 all of about atonement. So this early morning, I have come by the strength of Elohim through him who has made me, he through him who has known you and I when we are blood and water into our mother's womb. Through him who have joined our mothers and our brother together, he is called Elohim, Chuko Kabiama. In Bini, he's called in the in the so many places called Ogene. In Bini, he's called Oselebua. In Ibola, Nana, where Chuko Kabiama. The people call him all kinds of names. We call him God, Chuko Kabiama. To him belongs all power without him nothing was created that was created and he has become the light and that light began to shine upon men who do not comprehend him like which i sorry but somebody will say am i crazy father please forgive me if i have if i am attacking if i am tackling people who are innocent please father judge me but if these people that i i want you to destroy for me and kill and destroy and silence them are as saboteurs, Lord, this early morning, as Joshua, as Joshua, and of also as Moses has prayed, and of course David prayed in the book of Psalm one two one. He said, "The sun shall not smite him by day, neither the moon by night." But Father, if I am righteous as even than the Kalo, and also all my brothers and sisters that are worshiping, and also hearing the sound of my voice here. Yeah, Notice that we need our freedom and people are trying to stop us. May their night turn into day. May their day turn into night. Father, I pray, may the sun that is about to rise now become against them. May the water they drink become against them. I am using a point of contact with the Wazirike, with the with the Wike, and of course the newborn baby Sabotua Uchebe for and all Wazirike Staga. May everything they are creating against us this morning, may the sun smack them, may the moon smack them, may the air blow all their activities to nothingness. This is all I pray, and I believe that Elohim Chuko Kabiama has heard my prayer. Let every believer of Nandi Kano say this, uh, and it will be well with us, of course. Tonight, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, I will take it so easy. Please do not misunderstand me. I am an, an I am an activist, and of course, I'm talking about before a controversial human beings. Controversial human beings was the Moses from my village that I've told you before. And you know, some people call him as a the call of controversial human being. They give him different kinds of names. They call him all kinds of things. But this man is not two. He is only but one person. You know, I read the script from Abasanjo the former president of Nigeria, Obasanjo alleged and also cried out. He said that he had never seen a man who can coordinate people, millions of people, millions, I could say, millions of people, Obasanjo alleged that 
If Nam the Kano can use only telephone to organize this million army, there is something in this particular man. That is what we have come to discuss this early morning as I have prayed for you. Now, let me go to my topic this early morning. What did I say the topic was? You know, can somebody remind me? My topic said, think before you act. Oh, my people, think before you talk. I have noticed something about myself. Myself. I have noticed something about Namo de Kano. Let me bring it first to him. And of course, one thing I noticed about Namo de Kano is people misunderstood the power that he have. And because people misunderstand this Mazin Namo de Kano, they take him for granted. They came out on the platform because, of course, our people from where I come from, we used to say, Okawo free. When I was in Aba, I grew up in Aba. That's one particular famous word we use. When somebody is talking to you sarcastically, brutally, you say, When somebody is talking to you sarcastically, you say, One your brother, uh, talk on a free, you can say anything, you know, get me that. There are many demons and many baby saboteurs who are rising up right now. They come up to unite with our enemies. They come up to join with our enemies in order to make us angry. But there is a purpose why I rise up this morning. The reason why I rise up this morning to talk to us is that we must be resolute. And of course, I want to talk to everybody that is agitating for the indigenous people of Biafra to think before you say anything. Think before you say anything. Think before you say anything. Why you have to think before you say anything that you want to say is because our movement is not of the flesh. There is one message I preached that I took my readings from the book of Romans chapter number 8. Do you know what happened? Facebook, they went into my platform. I want to tell you this, Sophia. I want to tell you this, Love Day, Oyeka. They went into my platform. They removed all my program. How did it happen? I did not know. They remove every message that I have preached, everything that I've said concerning certain people. Go to my platform, you see it. Then you will now understand. I want to say this so you will understand that the battle that the indigenous people of Biafra are fighting or is fighting is not of the flesh, it is of the spirit. But glory be to God that we have a leader that understands the spiritual terminology. During the pandemic time, during the coronavirus time, I came out and I said something concerning the hundred men of Mazin Nam Nekana. And I noticed that many people do not take it into the consideration. Why am I talking like this, please? I take it easy because it is too early morning. Morning is the rising of the sun. We don't need to be so violent. So when I talk about the 100 men of Kano, many people call me. Many people do not call. Many people give me nicknames. And what was the time that my mother called me and said, I hear, say, you don't carry this nonsense for head. And make I take a easy. They hear, say, if I come to Nigeria now, they're going to push me and kill me and destroy me during this period. I also know what I answered to my mother. My mother, I am the second, uh, I am the third to last born child of my mother. You could understand how old she is. My mother is one of the oldest women in the village as of now. But people do not understand. My mother is old. I want to tell her how old she is, of course. She's old woman. Um, 
brethren, when I ever time I begin to think about what we have to think about, I get crazy. There are people that was born with the passion. There are people who also there are people also who have been born without the head. They don't think there are people that are born. Let me explain it. There are people that are born, they don't think about who to feed, who to feed, who to pay school fees for, who to help. They are born on the self. They say they will tell to you, this kind of people they will tell to you, I don't get mama, no baby get papa. Whatever they has, they consume. Now, this kind of people do not have what we call responsibility and they take life for granted, but I'm not such a people. And then I'm the canon or leader is not such a person. He is a man that have responsibility. He's a man that have a heart of Nehemiah. Nehemiah said, he said, he is going to represent his people like was Esther. Esther commanded his people to pray and fast. And Esther volunteered him herself. He said, I am going to meet the king tomorrow, but what you have to do for me is to fast and pray. If I perish, and I will perish if I live, I live. These are the kind of people that we need as Biafra must exist. Because we are facing a vast enemy who do not want us alive. Why I come this early morning to talk to us? I come to talk to us in a subtle way that we will begin to go into our mindset and become a human being, brothers and sisters. And as I am talking to you, I want you to go into yourself and begin to ask yourself, what, what is the reason of my existence? Why am I existing? That's why I have today titled my being here with you, brothers and beautiful sisters and brother, handsome brothers. I said, think before you act, oh, my people. Think now. What must we think? We have to think very deeply. Take a breath. Go back to yourself. As you are watching this man right now, that one day that I will die and people will no longer remember me, only my good works. As I'm talking to you, my heart is filled with pain and sorrow. I want to be involved of the people. I want to work with the Mazin and the Kalu, who nobody understand. People call him a controversial person. People call him a man who is crazy. People call him a man who only who know how to talk. But when you vindicate me, you give me a name. Well, sometimes the name you give to me is not who I am really is or war or was. Nam the canon is a body that the spiritual realm, celestial realm, spiritual realm, esoteric realm has used to fulfill his or her purposes. And the people do not want to understand what am I trying to say. Think before you call him names. Think before you crucify. Think before you destroy. Think was like a think which I'm for think of video piano before you will terminate or destroy the work of this particular man that you don't really know. A leader can have numerous followers. This early morning, I don't want to come here to tell you that there are many people who are surrounding me as I'm talking to you. A leader can have, I want to talk to us in a very calm way. And I, I will not force you to believe anything that I'm saying. You have your right to antagonize or also to disagree to what I am saying. It is your right to disagree. Because one that can come through to there are many liars on this our own point. There are people who lies. A pastor can sleep in the night and tell you that when he was showering yesterday that the Holy Spirit come and meet him. Will he argue? No, he won't argue. 
and the, all these pastors in, uh, in let me use zoo for instance they will brainwash you to believe what they're saying because you know these are the people when they when they when they see that you're hungry you need your children's school fees they will come and pay first time second time and anything of course anything they said again you believe that they are coming from man of god but as of now let me tell you i don't believe any pastors anymore like as i told you people long time i was ordained as an pastor i'm coming to, i'm coming to my message but i don't want to be hearing or somebody if you call me pastor it affects me you know why because the pastor are the greatest <laughs> and the worst name you can call yourself this time around because they are the most dangerous criminals as we have now if i knew what i knew now if i have met in the kind when i was 15 16 in those days when i was in naba moving the young ministers association becoming the translator to dr chido Crawford. Do you know where I started? I would have become a very big general of Asia because Mazen Nandukari, you see, is a loaded man who is not corrupt. But anyway, my topic said, think before you act. Let me go back to where we started today. Dear friends, we have begun to lost our identity. When I said that we begin to lose our identity, is when a Biafra man begin to have a correspondent with uh, Fulani, not even a house, uh, Fulani. Biafrans will have lost our dignity when we begin to walk with Yetiala, like he has Owazrike and Luchemefo. Biafrans. We have begun to dig our grave when we begin to lose our identity to deny ourselves the recognition of who we are. That is when we begin to die. And we think we are fighting one particular person. Do you know what the British and the Fulanese does? First of all, one of the strategies they use is they will bring you, Mazos to Lokonkwa, uh, their franchise to could became and of course our leader Mazen and the Kano to be your greatest enemy and they will begin to rumble with your mind and your brain they will begin to disintegrate you from your own paternal or matrimonial soil they begin to break you apart from your own relations this is the Fulanic and of course the British <laughs> uh, I could say ideology because politics is the most dangerous day game in the history of heavens and the earth. Politics is not a game that started from the earth, no, it is never, it is started from the spiritual realm in heaven. Like as I said to us one time ago, please help me to share. This thing that we're talking about, it will help some people to come back to their senses. Uh, let me say the reason why I am here, I want to talk to our people. I know many of you will be going to work. Many people will get this message later. Many people will get it later, 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 later. Many people will get it when I am offline. Many people will get this as I'm talking to now. Politics is a demonic game. Anybody who tell you that is a politician, check him very good. That person is only but a liar. Politics is one of the greatest dirty game on earth, on the face of the universe. If you don't know it now, it's a mock, I greet you. When you hear yourself and you leave what God has given you as your talent, there are many pastors, people like Ufadambaka, do you know what destroyed destroy Farambaka? What killed Farambaka was politics. Politics is a game of criminality. Politics is one of the greatest demons in the urban and the rural areas. What does he do? Politicians are the best criminals in the face of the earth. 
It was the politicians that introduced kidnapping. It was the politicians that kidnapped, that introduced nepotism. It was the politicians. And the politics is the attitude and the act of satanic, satanicism. Let me put it like this. In the kingdom of heaven, politics is an act of overthrowing one of the other. In politics, we have what is called Q. Q is overthrowing the opponent that you think that you are better than. And of course, I want to hit a point tonight, and I will mention the names of the people that I brought tonight to mention, like as I used to do. Uh, that's why I started by telling you people that I am a controversial person. Don't expect me to say anything wrongly for you to understand what I'm saying to tonight. In the politics, in politics, we can't queue, we'll find queue. And queue. There are people that came to the indigenous people of Biafra under the leadership of Mazin and the Kano that are still bringing politics. But you know what happened? Because Biafra is a spirit. Biafra is not a village meeting. Biafra is not like any other ongoing movement. Biafra is not a politics. Biafra is not a politician forum. That is why you see people like uh, 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 Uche for like Obido, we see like all the rest of them, they are the ones that are reporting my page and after that Facebook will block me and then they will delete a lot of things. But I, I want you to save this message as you get it right now. There's something you must understand. They went to my platform, they deleted all the messages that I did, only few that remain. Many of you who knows me. But one of the things is that I give glory to Chuko Kabiyama who have giving me the words to talk and giving me the privilege to be alive if they see me they would have killed me or kill my brothers and sisters so now we're talking about politicians politicians when a man begin to play politics means he is near to his grave people like uche Menfo, people like Owazirike, people like obido bienu people like you know name them they will soon join uche Menfo as soon as possible they will soon join all this death sentenced human beings under the leadership of Mazen and Kano. But please, before I continue tonight, I have gone so far to understand that the UHM4 have never come out to read for us the resignation letter. Please, if you know him, if he's your uncle from Abatete, if you really know UHM4, please tell him that Mazen Osnokonko was online this early morning and I said that I will ask him, not on apology. We want him to stand on that is DJ studio that he have created and come and announce his resignation, his resigning letter. Come and read it for us. The moment he reads that particular resignation letter that he have written to the indigenous people of Biafra, you will see calamities devastations will fall upon Uche Mepo. The only reason why he's still alive, let me tell you, people of God, people of Biafra, people of Biafra, let me tell us, the only thing that is still holding Uche Mepo is the oath he took. And the only thing that is still destroying him is also the oath he took. Do you think he's not wise? He know he's a foolish man, but there's this, this sense as an evil man in him. Uche Mepo, have a sense he is a sensed man but do you know what happened which before had been governed and been humiliated and been kidnapped by obido Obesi. this obido you know of a person is the one who is in general which before to be doing everything he's doing because he wants to be a deputy if you don't know it know it now which before as you know is a very weaker vessel both in his house both outside he is a specialist person which before in totality is if it is a, an animal i will call him an ostrich ostrich is a an animal is an animal sorry is a bird the biggest bird in the forest that lays egg and leaves the egg so that the anaconda and all kinds of crocodile will come and eat the egg the children of ostrich is surviving by the grace of the creator he can be angry, but I will define what I said that which of is an ostrich. An ostrich is a, a woman or a a woman that delivers a child and they don't want to take responsibility. 
An ostrich is the one who brings people somewhere and you abandon them somewhere. An ostrich, as huge as ostrich is, but she did not have a mind. That is why when you, if you are a student of Job, if you are the student of affliction, you will go to the book of Job. When you romance with the book of Job, you will see there are two animals that God mentioned to Job in his distress. Job was crying and weeping, and the wife of Job told Job one thing. The wife of Job said to Job, he said, curse God and die. The moment you begin to dis dis disintegrate your source, the moment you begin to disintegrate your organ, the moment you begin to say that your leader is no more a leader. That is why the wife of Job now said to Job, he said, curse God and die. Cursing God simply means that when you denounce your source, you will die. I see these guys who have been denouncing Mazen and the Colonel, you know, corresponding with our enemies. I think I'm getting hot right now. This message has changed dimension. Uh, you know, sometimes I say that I will not scream, but when I remember the effort, when I remember the when when, when I remember the Operation Python dance, who has come to destroy our leader Mazen and the Colonel, my message always changed. When I even tell you people that I want, I don't want to scream. And you know, when I remember also the humiliation that the Ujemi for is putting in the life of the people of Biafra, oh my God, I begin to boil and my spirit gets so high. Please forgive me if I am going more than as I could. An ostrich. An ostrich is one big bird. When you see this ostrich, her egg is more giant than that of anaconda. She can lay 10 eggs. When an ostrich lay 10 eggs, an ostrich lay eggs around the bush, even chicken lays the egg on where nobody can see it, but an ostrich lays egg where all kinds of carnivorous animal can take all of them. Ultimate for is an ostrich. Uwazurike is an ostrich. Is an ostrich. They conspired together and Facebook started to delete all my messages that I didn't I have never asked anybody to delete. I went to my page, all the things that I said, all my messages that I had elevating has been deleted. How I didn't know, blocked and deleted. Do you know why? I came to tell all of you, dear friends. You must understand that anything that you're doing for Biafra is relevant, are relevant. Do not give it up. If these messages are not terrifying which I for and all cause saboteurs, they wouldn't have paid from the money that the zoo Janja would give to them. Which I for has collected money from the zoo from Yetiala. That is why he is formidable. To fight against himself. Do you people remember? Yesterday I said one thing about the topic that I still on my platform that I titled. Uh, I forget sometimes I don't know what I what I, I said before. That message I remember what the spirit of Biafra has led me to say. One of the things that I said there is that woe unto them that go back to Egypt. A man who go back to Egypt. God is telling you to come out of Egypt and they're still looking back to Egypt because of the cucumber you ate yesterday. Simple means that you have something with Egypt. And any man who goes to Egypt is going to Egypt only for his stomach. Which is looking back to the Nigerian government and of course all the saboteurs because of his stomach. He think he have used the indigenous people of Biafra and now he feel he want to feel his belly. The same thing like an ostrich. He doesn't want to take his responsibility. What he did, he began to act like Ammonites and also the Amorites and the Canaanites, who conspired against the people of God in the book of Numbers, chapter number twenty-two. But I want him to go uh, and read the book of Numbers, chapter number twenty-two, and of course Numbers, chapter number twenty-three. Do you understand what happened to Balak, who? called Balaam and brainwashed him to cause the people. Why 
are the people of God being caused by all these fake prophets? In the book of Numbers, it is stated there that the, the blessings of God was so much on the Biafrans, which is called the Israelites in the book of Numbers. Then the Balak, which is a prophet of evil, prophet of doom, went and called Utemeh for Ohamadike <laughs> is always right on his words. When Balak saw the goodness and the blessings of God on the life of the indigenous people of Biafra, what did Balak do? Balak went and called one of the people in the book of Numbers chapter number 22 to number 23. Read it. You have to read this scripture because everything that has been happening in the life of the people of Biafra is have already taken place in the scripture. That is why you see Nandi Kalo, he will laugh and they tell you history must repeat itself. But people do not understand because they call him controversial man like as I started my message this animal with you after our prayer. My brothers and sisters, we have to educate our mind. There are, uh, I think I'm going too far. Sometimes I play scattered message, but the message that I used to talk to us are scattered. They come sometimes like a catapult. They come sometimes like a weapon. When they fall on you, take one. As I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Listen, I have prepared how I will die. How I will die is what I want to tell you. I will die, I will, and I'm going to take my life the time I begin to see myself not to stand as a Biafra anymore. Because Biafra is the only thing, the only good thing that can happen to you as I, as I am looking at me now. Don't think that I'm crazy. Don't think that I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm not mad. I know what I'm talking to you. Whatever thing that I'm saying to you today, you will understand it. That is from Mazen Nam the Kanu. Mazen Nam the Kanu is the only prophet we have as of now. If that man is not a good prophet, if that man, if Nam the Kanu is not a man that God has called, do you know what he will do? If he has the spirit of Waziri Kanduche before, do you know what he will do? He will just collect one or you well and forget the indigenous people of Biafra. And in the next 10 years to come, 25 years, your name will become Asha. Our men will become Yusuf and Abu Bakr. Only people who have sense will understand what we are saying. I want to tell us this thing, brother. Make this decision. People say, I don't want to die. People say, they don't want to give their life. Make I tell you, make I tell you, make I tell you one thing. Whether you want to die, or you don't want to die. Death is unavoidable, is inequitable, it is undecidable. You can't even say that, please, I have uh, my beautiful woman on my corner, give me uh, 20 days so that I will pregnant my wife, then will she have a baby for me before I die? Do you know what that will say? Death even have his own purposes. Is you okay? I greet you. Oh, happy Afra. Is you congratulations for your two twins, please? I will come to you later. Death. Do you know that the most ugly angels from the kingdom of darkness? Or in fact, death is not working for darkness. Death is also corresponding with God, if I can put it this way. But from human perspective, we always see death as one of the most uh, dangerous things that happen to man. Why am I saying this thing? I want to tell you, I want to introduce to you Mr. Death so that you will be formidable to do the work you have been called to do now that you are alive. People say, people say, Mazi, you should stop talking about death when you come to your platform. You always talk about die, 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 die. Let me tell you, I'm not mountain of fire minister or any other thing. I don't come here to dead die. But I want to tell you what is true and what is perfect and what is humble and what is noble. The first message that God gave to me after my prison in Cuba, two years, 2000 for 2004 2003 i landed in cuba from cuba after two years that i went to sentence in cuba because i wanted to go to america on behalf of traveling then i was hold in cuba i spent two years and four days from 2001 2002 on the end of 2003 i was released do you know why? When I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you from the perspective of Habakkuk. Habakkuk said that he is a man that has seen affliction. 
I went to Nigerian embassy in Cuba where my visa was expired. Nigerian embassy in Cuba told me that they don't know me, that I'm from Ghana. And the Cuba president, uh, I could say Fido Castro, during that time, Fido Castro, I came here with one shirt I received from Fido Castro inside the prison so that you will know who is talking to you. I went to Nigerian embassy on that particular day. 22 September 2001, I never forget. The police got me from the airport on the traveling. I have my Nigerian passport. The man who said it's a Nigerian embassy in Cuba so then, told me that I come from Ghana and he handed me over to the Cuban police. The Cuban police jailed me two years and four days without committing sin. I am on transit. That is how I end up. On the 2003, I was praying, even in that prison, I understand that my sister did died, you know, the child. Inside the prison, when I was in that prison, she came to me in the dream and was giving me a telephone that my mother should say that I should call her. This message, you have to share it. That's why people know me in Amsterdam. If you say Cuba man, they know me. A lot of you also who are watching here know Izuwa Kedi, you know who I am, of course. You know my story. Then I left to the prison. The day they want to deport me, I, was, I transited, I moved to Cuba, 2001. As a young guy from Lagos, Paris, Havana. And after two years and four days, they want to carry me also from Havana, Paris, Lagos. That is when I knew that God works. That is why whenever time I see Nam the Kano uh, talking about God, I know what he means. You will understand God when you have encounter, when you have... See, people who never understand God is you, people who have never faced difficulties of life. If you have ever faced difficulties of life and call God, you will understand what I'm talking about. I don't call you to pay me tithe and offering here. Please, I'm saying something. Why I'm saying this thing, I want Biafra to walk so that you understand how much we have suffered in the hands of the Fulani, house of Fulani, so that you can be resolute and be sincere with anything you're doing. There must be gullible ones that will fall out. Those people that have never had a encounter with God. How many times have we ever found entered prison? The one he want to go now, he want to orchestrate it with Wazrike and you know, with the wiki that they will say, hey, which before came to Nigeria, he was arrested. And of course, you know, the next, the next person he will meet now, after meeting is our And uh, of course, the, the meeting can be cancelled because we are all alleging. After meeting is our inconsequential people. Asha won't on a red light. After meeting them, then he will meet with them. People who have no name. This is the how low Uchemen for and Wazirike has brought themselves. Sometimes I cry for Uchemen for just like the angels cry for Lucifer when he was falling down. How have I fallen, O Lucifer, the great morning angel? Do you know the Lucifer before? Lucifer was next person, next person. If it's the human formula, next person to God, just like which before was next person to Nam the Kano. But because of greedy and because of lack of thinking before he said, that is why I titled my message Think Before You Act. Think, as I'm talking to you now, think before you come to this platform to say something. Think, 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 think before, think very good before you talk. That's one proverb in Ghana. In Ghana language, Ghana or Kachara or Sosu, Onipa or Si Okuku Seku no so no Pangwe Mono Prachale. A Kuku Seku no so no Pangwe Mono means in Ghana that the leg where they walk, the eyes where they see, they see her, and that eye and God. Onipangwe Mono. We have to think before we talk. When a chicken wakes up in the morning and begins to follow you at your back, you have to run. I told you people on my previous message that I told you that the goat will battle was Rike. 
I think the, he interwove himself with which before on the Facebook, they enter my page and they did all kinds of things. Uh, you know, they delete all my messages, of course. You, know, you, you see they delete all of my messages in the Facebook, but I'd say, as long as they didn't cut off my head, I must keep on saying. So by them, yes, it's okay, thank you. The only one, and my only Kuba man, he knows me. So I, I never finished this Kuba saga. Thank you, Woked. When they wanted to deport me from Havana, Cuba, after two years, let me tell you how God works. God sent an angel from England, who I don't even know, he was there, he's a British guy, he had been there before with me, he said, listen, what are you going to Nigeria to do? I said, I don't know, I was crying, I was crying, and crying in the flight. Cubans, they treated me like if I am a terrorist. They gave me two immigration officers in the flight that will hang me over to Paris. Brothers and sisters, let me come to tell you the testimony. Before I arrived in the Paris airport on that same 20, 2003, November was it on the code i was coming with this kind of things no jacket no bag because i said what am i getting back to do i want to tell you how work, god works this god that i want to introduce to you is the god who will bring us biafra this god that i'm telling you now is the god that you have prayed for this early money this god that i'm telling you is the god that will bring you money there are many of us many somebody many people many brothers and sisters that are listening under the sound of my voice now you need money and you don't have money. That same God that I'm telling you now will do a miracle in your life. As I'm talking to you right now, he will do this miracle in your life because God is a miracle worker. And from that moment that I'm telling you now, I never begged anybody money. I didn't ask no woman to come and make papers for me. I didn't say I need anybody that I come and give me Dutch passport. I didn't say anything. Everything fixed themselves because God have chosen my own direction to me. And that's why I'm here. People who know me. Every risky that I took to in life, he was with me. God goes ahead of me. He sees our heart. He sees the heart of Anandikano. He sees the heart of his working. He sees the heart of everybody that is pure in heart. And he will deliver you from the accusations of your enemy. And people can give you all kinds of names, but stand firm. And he will. He said, God that blesses. On a gossip model, Chinek and a gossip model, Chinek and a gossip model, a man a Chinek and a gossip model. Do you know that God blesses people? There is a God, though. There is a God. Sometimes this God I'm introducing to you can make your enemy, can make a man who has been your friend, like he's doing with him before and was like all the saboteurs right now. They will begin to talk about the man. Kind of. Why? Because they are vulnerable. To be a soil where the Satan will sow their seed. He will, not be he will now bring them and remove them out of your life. Because I why would you go back slide now? Like as I cried. One I cried for Ujemefo. And I slept and I woke up. Many sisters and brothers, in fact, many sisters called me from America and said, Brother, clean your eyes that the God have had a prayer. After that 22, 28, 20th October, I cried for Chairman. For what happened after that? 20th October, NSAS protests. I saw the downfall of women, Uchemi for. I cried heavily to let him stand. But Uchemi for, he think that the many people you see, because you know, I don't have a private jet. If I'm a private jet, now this testimony alone, I will just put it in the CD and I will begin to pay. Is it okay? They will come for, you know, he will come for, uh, you know, dedication of my new uh, prophecies and the evangelists, uh, uh, evangelists, uh, evangelists are there. You will come for the dedication and we, we, in fact, the testimony will put it in a handkerchief and we begin to sell it and it will sell. By now, I'm a millionaire. But that is not the, the issue. The issue is understanding the ways of God and also think before you say anything. Do you know what is killing you, Jennifer? Down to his heart, Uche Mefo did not even plan to betray Namdekano, just like Judas did not even plan to betray Jesus. But there is a spirit called consciousness. 
The spirit of covetousness is a very demonic spirit who entered Satan to become demon, to become dragon, to become all kinds of personalities. Now, watch what is happening in the life of Uchemi 4. Uchemi 4 is now metamorphosing. When he started, he began to tell us he do not know who air uh, the meeting he has secret with the widow Wishi. And suddenly, before you know it, from that little meeting, which I before, metamorphosed so high that his saboteur level had become so red. Now, which I before, moved in walking with Wazirike, which is the enemy of the IPOBs. Moving with a failure. Have you seen how low he has bring himself? When Satan, oh God, oh my, I feel the Holy Spirit. When Satan begin to fail downwards, when he thinks that he has to be like the Almighty, let's put this Almighty in the front of our message this now. Almighty was God, who was the ruler, just like Mazin and Kala was the leader of the people during this period. But the moment Satan elevated himself to be like the Almighty, as Ezekiel described, what he saw was another cue was taken up in heaven to dethrone him from the book of Revelation, chapter number 12, uh, 11, 12, or 12, 12, yes, 12, right? Now, in this book of Revelation chapter number 12, the Bible describes the fall of the Lucifer, Satan, who is called dragon, all kinds of names. So, whenever a man wants to fall, or a demon wants to fall, this particular demon, this particular entity, this particular Satan will begin to... Uh, find something to hook himself. And when Satan wanted to fall like Uche before is about to fall, what he did was he began to grasp all the gullible angels of God. Somebody is uh, chatting from China now. Wow. Uche is, uh, uh, is uh, an EU, right? And uh, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so I saw this and I was thinking that uh, uh, you are talking. Good morning. Who is this? Please. Somebody is writing in India. I know what I'm going to do because I have run India. Uh, you know? So, what am I saying? He began to fall. God saw the iniquity in the heart of Lucifer and God dethroned him. Nandekano saw the iniquity in Uchemefor and he had a secret with him. Do you know that Uchemefor has been cooperating with him? Udene. When Udene was in the prison, he has been cooperating. When it was Uche before that was being given with the, the messages and every hidden thing that they have been using against us. Uche before and George Onyibe, they have been working with Wike. They are responsible of the people that have been died in Obibu and a lot of people that have been died. Do you know that? He doesn't feel remorse. He doesn't feel regretted. As you see him, he's working like a banana leaf. This man is one of the greatest animal in animal kingdom, like I can tell you before. Facebook can block me and delete this message. I don't care, but I want you to save it. I shall listen to save, save, save. They are, are my enemies. They will delete it. Uche before have never stand up and talk about the ongoing kidnapping and everything that is going on in that zoo called Nigeria. Uche before stood one time and begin to reverse and reverse like people of Nollywood or Hollywood who are revised, revising all kinds of things. Reverse, reverse is satanic mood, which before has taken a place with the enemies. And now they want to kill Nam the Kanu. But I told him, I said, before, whenever time we find Nam the Kanu and we do not see him, we hold you responsible. Which I'm before with our Wazirike are planning on how to eliminate the indigenous people of Biafra. I still wonder about so many AWUs who will come to his platform. Anytime you see me on his platform, he knows. I've been calling for him to pick my phone. He do not pick because he know that I am going to tell him to shut down that radio and come and give us everything that we have given unto him. Which I'm before and the Wazirike has been cooperating long time ago. But as I pray, this early morning, we fight anything they are doing. The most dangerous animal we are told in the zoology when we are growing, I repeat again that the most, one of the most dangerous animals in the bush is lion, anaconda, and of course, and a uh, gorilla. But no, 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 we have to change it. One of the greatest dangerous animals in the zoo is Wazrike, Uchemefo, 
and Obi do Bienu with the rest one that will come now. These are the most dangerous animal in the zoo. No, in the zoo, in the zoo. They have come to what to break down the works of Elohim, but they cannot. They cannot. Why do I say they cannot? I have a reason to tell you. They are wicked people. They have take an oath with Satan. Uche before he say is now operating on the spirit of covetousness. He is now the zoo has called Uche before. Wazrike is making a, a, a way for him. Do you know you have to you have to articulate every word Wazrike say. Although he's a stupid man, but sometimes he. He, whenever time he comes online, he gives us the secret where he reserves it because you know, snake, look at his mouth and eye, you will see the snake in his head. So, Wazrike came yesterday and unleashed to us the secret that he had been keeping with Uche before for a long ages that we do not know, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, I hope people can. Can you people understand? And can you, can somebody hear me? Please, can you hear me? Please give me. A signal to let me know, otherwise, I will not continue. I hope people, I see some shaking here. Can people hear me, please? Is it okay? Can you hear me? Uh, flourish, can you hear me, Adams? Can you hear? I hope I'm coming and let me keep on. So, these people they have become so wicked. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody say Moses Achi. Moses Achi, yes, I'm coming to that Cuba. <laughs> Wonderful. There are some people that are very that's why you know, you know, Moses Achi, Moses Achi, you are dangerous, you know. You know, I I I said my topic said think before you talk, and Moses Achi said, please do not forget telling us about your Cuba experience. What the brother? You know, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, if I have stepped out of this Cuba issue he would have catch me moses actually please keep on reminding me about this cuba issue but let me hit this wicked people first now Uwazrike, uche mefon Uwazrike have already been keeping secret meetings with uche mefon just like uche mefon has been under our leadership do you know why uche mefon is not really coming out when he was under the leadership of Mazen Nanakaro. No, Uche Mefo has been given um, Osari Dokubo information about Biafra, because about Mazen Nanakaro, he can never know it. About IPOB. Uche Mefo is not formidable. Uche Mefo, what is killing Uche Mefo now? What is driving him mad? What is making him crazy is the oath he took unto Biafra. The oath is like, let me tell you, the Bible says that he who sins under oath will die. That is why me, myself, I have decided, I have decided to die on this struggle because the oath I take, full without a, without a shoe, on the ground, solid ground, will fight against me if I don't continue this thing that I'm doing. People don't know. And so many people say, hey, because it's too dangerous, I don't want to take an oath. These are wicked. And the Bible also which I told you people that is my backbone have taught me a lot of things how their end will be. There was a time Job wanted to become an enemy of God, and God sent one of his best friends, who is called Elihu, Bishop Ugu. Hey, Bishop, you are alive now. Wow, I think I have to put my my Bishop. I have to call him. Chere chere kachota number. Bishop, I will put a line. Not on this one you will call because long time I don't know whether it's in the market. Now, I'm going to put a line later and people will call. So let me write on myself. So now this was Rike now begin to walk long time ago with which I'm before, trying to bring Mazin and the Kano down. They showed which I'm before, the good things that he will receive, which I'm before, not even only Obido Bien, it was Uche Mefor and Wazriki with Obido Bien. They have already prepared on how they are going to go to Nigeria and they know and betray Mazen Nanakano. When Mazen Nanakano was uh, in the Koje prison, uh, I'm going to put, wait, 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 let me see if I can put a number because I saw Bishop and I, I know that Bishop must uh, call in today, otherwise I will get angry with him. Close. The real one. Sees it. Uh -huh. Wait, well, Bishop, let me put the number. The other one, safe, eh? Two, uh, seven. Uh, please, uh, the people is <laughs> four, four. Hey, uh, nine, uh, five, nine, six, one, 
4495 yes uh, 09 this is a new number i i put it yesterday so i have um posted the number and uh, of course let me pin it because some of my brothers like bishop uh, i think the number is pinned right now okay now somebody can call in on whatsapp on that time number but please uh, let me say something so uchim for and wazirike and all our enemies have been working together and we did not know but you know i want to ask us a question do you think that the name the kano don't call yet until i say the line is open if you can when the name the kano was in prison the intention of uchim for was to hijack the who protests and the indigenous people of Biafra and God delivered the land the Kano to come out and continue where he has stopped. Let me tell you, which MFO has never have. Do you know there are also many of us who are under this platform of Biafra? If you and the Kano want to really know those who are formidable, and I know he's watching this program now, I know Hamadike is watching, or Hamadike, the only thing you will do is to check some people, suspend them without anything. You will see their character, they will explode they will just explode they will just explode you see mazonibe was put on suspension a man who had been raping people and all these kind of things he started you know sometimes many of you can bear me witness i have called about people on this program sometimes i call also i call one of our coordinator here in the netherlands that begin to ask about mazonibe what's came up about for what do you think some of sisters and they answer me differently and then we are saying this one don't understand because i cannot argue with people so what is happening Uchime for and Wazirike has been in solidarity they have been working together to destroy this particular struggle but in the canon is not a human being he have a calling Wazirike idea he is coming now with an idea that is a, that is a staff that was given to him I want to call Wazirike to come out and show us an update on the photo where the Ofo or Ogu was given to him. If truly that that Ofo was passed on to Wazirike, means Wazirike, you are a failure. That Ofo Gakubuli, we say, the Ofo Gakubuli because you are not working. Ofo, as long as that Ofo is from Alibo. As long as that offer is from Alibo, or was it that offer you are not handling it well? That is why the offer is fighting against you because there was something that happened. Do you know Obed, Obedidom of God, Obedidom of God? When the people that are responsible in the Act of Covenant take the Act of Covenant, uh, Act of Covenant for devil making attitude, do you know Obed? Obedidom of God, God raised Obed, God raised Obed. To carry the ark of covenant to himself number one is i'm coming obeyed as recorded as, as the scripture does not have a right to even touch the ark of covenant but obeyed who's obeyed obeyed was a fugitive obeyed was an outcast obeyed even the generation of obeyed who the ark of covenant is left in the house due to the have don't even have right to touch the ark of covenant but the people who carry the offer, which is the Ark of Covenant, begin to misbehave, and the Ark of Covenant is converted its energy, and those who touch it died, and obeyed who was an outcast, become friend with the presence of God, which is known as the Ark of Covenant. Wazrike, what is destroying you is the Ark, which you call the offer, you say that they give to you. And actually, can put online, come and show the indigenous people of Biafra the photo and the, the day this particular offer was given unto you as i said my great you beautiful woman good morning so this is what we have to understand Owasrike is a liar now do you know why he started he started now telling us that the offer by which he received will not be given to an idea person that is Mazin and the canon will not be given to um uh, emo people will not be given to any good people now it is anambra people because he want to entice ujeme for just like the lucifer set and dragon enticed a, a woman called eve or oh, drink you are a serpent when i see your head what i see is a snake with the venom but of course which before he has been destined to, to die and hang himself he must also succumb to your to your to your evil destiny and i think i will somebody asked me about my cuba experience my brother will tell you that so when i went into cuba 
They wanted to deport me after my two years imprisonment. Then on Paris, the system changed. On that particular night, I want to kill my brother who had demanded this clarification. Without my brother, <laughs> so it's my testimony. Uh, Moses Sachi, uh, Moses Sachi, yes, I hope you are here. Moses Sachi, thank you. So, this experience, um, when I came to Cuba, uh, why I started this story of Cuba is to tell you people what God does. God is, there is a God, there is a God, that is, a, that is, there is. There is an un, un, unseen reality. There is a power that put the world into existence. There is something we do not understand. You know, the the the, the commentator of the Primordial Om, he said, "When you vindicate me, you give me a name." And in the secret of geometry, that everything is the same. So now we call God God because we could not understand the end, the power of God. You know why do we call God God? Some call him Allah. Some call Chineke. Some call anything they want to call. Do you know? Let me tell you. What you know is given to you to know. What you don't know, you can't understand. But what you don't know will be revealed to you when you begin to follow truth, which you will call God. Then, in that prison in Cuba, as a young boy who went to, I wanted to travel to America, thank God my sister is there and I visit and I come back. So, but the issue is this, the issue is this, in that Cuba, I have an experience and I made a covenant with God. I said, I know you deliver me and when you deliver me, I must be somebody who's going to speak the truth and stand on upright. And, and that same way God answered me when he bring me to Cuba in Paris. They wanted to deport me after two years and four days imprisonment in Cuba. And the same way I went, they reposed my ticket in Paris, Charles de Gaulle Airport. I, when I arrived in Cuba, in Charles de Gaulle Airport, September, no, November, cold. I don't even have jacket, no bag, nothing. The only thing I came with was a Bible, you know. Bible, no Joe Legba. That wallet Bible is just the same color. If you see that Bible, every kind of places I mark it with things and what God is telling me. The Bible was also stored. It was my act of common. That's why I always tell you people that Bible make me wise. All right. At Nigeria, in Nigeria, I end up only on the primary six, but when I came to Europe, I start school afresh. That's why, you see, I can understand and talk good. And Bible was my help. Let me tell us these things. If you don't know, know it now. I didn't, my mother didn't have, I was the, I, I came from the poorest family in our village. Let me be honest with you. But it is the grace of God. From everything that has been happening in my life, I know that the hand of God is upon my head. Let me tell us these things. When I arrived in Paris, God get me one policeman from Cameroon, from Ambazonia. This man, he looked at my face and said, why are you crying? <laughs> I told him every story that I went through, how Nigeria embassy said me, told me that I'm a Ghanaian and they have to deport me. And the, the man looked at me, he said, I'm going to help you. He gave me, he went to the, where the pilot, the passport, my passport, the zoo passport I was using then was in the envelope. He called me, he said, listen, I am going to help you. Uh, Palais Francis, I said, no, there's that I don't speak French. I, I said, you know, I begin to tell him, no, me, I don't speak French, you know. Then he, my friend, Okwi, I think he's in America. My friend, my best friend now is in, uh, I think, New York or something. He can't understand me. Now I met him in Paris and that day we came to Amsterdam together. He has... Why I'm saying this, please, because God is, I want to tell you, the title of this testimony, like my brother actually have demanded, is God is, then interwoven with our topic today, think before you talk. Then the police, that policeman helped me and he gave me my ticket back and charged the Gold Airport. You know what I'm talking about? Before, the, after Bin Laden issue, and he gave me uh, my ticket and he told me, that I can go and confirm my ticket. Have you seen that before? But meanwhile, the greatest miracle happened. The flight that brought me from Havana, which is Cuba, to Paris Charles de Gaulle Airport. In those days, there are only two flights that moves to Nigeria from Charles de Gaulle Airport. Means one in the morning and one in the night. In, in Cuba also two. One in the morning and one in the night. This is Air France. Before we arrived in Charles de Gaulle Airport, the flight are supposed to, the pilot supposed to hang me over going to Nigeria on this early 2001 to 2002 was already um, about to depart. 11 minutes 
<laughs> later we are in Charles uh, uh, Gaulle Airport and the pilot came and explained to me with the immigration police of the Cuba that the the flight has left that are going to put me here till 11 in the night so I was there on this hour of 11 in the night on our arrival was when the policeman came and bring me out and I begin to speak in tongues praying you know that time I was you know as a minister from Aba, I begin to speak in tongues the policeman come and said what is my problem I explained to him you know what he brought me out and gave me my passport he said go and check out and I'll confirm my ticket he said au revoir my brothers and sisters when I entered there a voice came to me you know, sometimes I will not be talking to you that God spoke to me if God's talking, but I hear this voice. But you know why? When you begin to tell people that God talked to you, they won't understand it. That's why I say my conscience talked to me. I hear the voice. It said, tear the passport. I don't even know what it's called. I, I have this kind of uh, pullover uh, uh, thing, uh, uh, thing I'm wearing now on the white. I tear my passport, the zoo passport. May they put me to jail. I tear them. What I, what I tell and use my teeth to put inside the toilet flyer, flush them. I didn't know what I'm doing, you know, but I just hear, tear the passport. I tear the passport to one. Um, that's why I enter. So me talking to you now is 11 minutes matter. So have you heard it? So why am I talking about that is God in everything you do? You must listen and think before you act. I think the line must be open right now for anybody who wants to call both men and women I am your brother Mazo Konko. Please, if you have anything. So what are what we're discussing right now? Uche Mefo or Wazrike, they have to really go and think before they talk. You know, when Saddam Hussein was active, he didn't know that everything he implemented is the things, the same thing that we will use to justify them. Anything you are saying, people which before is misbehaving, or Wazrike is misbehaving, think that Biafra will not come. I see Biafra already here. Nam the Kano does not see only with the physical eyes. That's why I stand up this early morning to tell all of you, people who like me, people who don't like me, it is your duty to hate me. I don't hate anybody. Some of my government who don't want to share my platform and some of us who don't like each other. But one of the things I want you, use your hate and bring us Biafra. Please bring that Biafra. Biafra is the only best thing that can happen to us as I'm talking to you. If Biafra, like my brother Abalanze, Abalanze is now on Biafra, the next nearest country, also we have Africa, they are going for Abalanze. Also, they are going to be back via the forever and ever. He will not come back again. Let me tell you, if Biafra do not come, all of us, we are finished. You, you will be answering. You will be answering Aisha in the nearest future. You must give anything you can, both prayer, both antagonizing, both propaganda, anything you can do to make Biafra come. Stephen, are you hearing it? Stephen, my brother, you must be able to put everything in action to fight anybody that you can fight. To, to what to bring down to destroy there was something that god line is open i hope the line is going that phone number i hope is correct i don't see it say even here i hope people do you see the number you can call in i think uh, do i pin this number uh, have i deleted it please um i want people to call in uh, the number said so let me pin it again i think i didn't do it good the number must be pinned now um, okay, sometimes I get while also to uh, the number must be pinned and we must continue. Okay, now, okay, the number is there already. Please, if you want to call in and you can call in and I will take your call and you contribute to what you have had. Number one. We must continue think before you say the topic and of course what we have to also do like we continue from what we stopped yesterday we have to deal with all this even if it's so two or three people that call it no problem if you also don't want to call it's okay i know now a lot of people are still on their job me i've taken my vacation <laughs> right from yesterday so i am free in the house and i will be coming online constantly to elevate our spirit and our minds to know where we belong anyone who want to call you can call if there's no other color, 
the only thing that you can do for me is to share this particular platform and i want to thank everybody that have been following me and uh, please i want to say this facebook have been our enemies they always um and somebody said i told my passport in paris ah easy 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 we must be easy. this guy you are <laughs> yes of course now you know my own self, eh? nobody told me self after a while. Chance to go to the airport. Maybe the same time they find you. Maybe the same time in those days. Eh? Uh, God. So, God, you see, is working in a mysterious way. But people don't understand. People use their memory and their mind to create God so small. Nobody has ever seen God. Do you know? You can see God. Let me tell you how you can see God. God explained to Moses how he can see him. You will see God from the mystery and from the good thing that he did for you in the past, and he will appear again. He said, you will see my back on the rock. That rock is Christ. The Christ, not Jesus. So we talk about Christ. Jesus came to seek Christ. You also, you have to seek Christ. But Jesus was the first one who realized Christ because he was formidable just like Mazen and Cal. seeking christ is fighting for justice <laughs> you never hear this one before right seeking christ is fighting for justice choosing the way of good that is what the name the canon is fighting for that is why the same bible said by their fruit we shall know them mark this word that is the reason why me, I don't believe in the church anymore. I don't believe in the church. Church would have been good. Church is supposed to be a place where we have issues or mosque. We come there or temple. We come, we discuss about our own problems and what is happening. You know, I think I have a caller from uh, mm -hmm. uh, Mars. I greet you. Good morning. This early morning greetings to you, Mars. God bless you. Good, mo good morning, sir. God yeah, bless you. Good morning. God bless you, Mars. Yeah, as far as your message, the same thing happens to me when I was in uh, in Paris. I did the same thing to enter Switzerland for Switzerland to fight them to Spain. Wow. So what you said is exactly, is exactly true. You said it true because I had the same uh, experience. Correct. In Charles de Corp. Hmm. So your, your, program, your program is well organized. I love it. The way you are explaining it in the Bible shows that he knows the scripture very, very well. I mean, you keep on doing the good work of for the Biafra and help of all of the world. Thank you, Mas. Mm -hmm. God bless you. But, 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 so, what you said about that, uh, oh, um, you said somebody who oh, is your baby, that, that is stupid man. Yes. In America, with, with which and my friend was written, they are conspiring. But the person that we have not heard of is uh, I said about the body, I've never said anything since we established that distance within the world. That is true. So I've been waiting, I've been waiting for him to say a word because he saw what he saw, they were all surprised. They were all surprised. For they sure. didn't even believe it because it came to them, it came to them as a shock. Yes. Because they were expecting my and to say that they, I had a problem with Richard before, and then I was like this. He just came in, just did for the five minutes broadcast. He went straight to the point. Yes. And the next moment he said that he was very people that everybody will be shot. So people now believe that this is truly a leader. A leader doesn't talk too much. Correct. He does yes. action like uh, he does like Donatra. When Donatra wake up, he do whatever he wants to do. He doesn't listen to what Democrats are saying. He just sign a bill immediately. That but, is our man the car is a man of his own work. Wonderful. And you that and, and you that are doing this work, I love you so much. You um we were first at Asia in France. And um, we came back to uh, South Africa. Uh, but a lot of you, I know a lot of you always took us away that time with my man. I go with the people in the young force in the mighty name of Yahweh Heshua. He said, and you too, bro. God bless you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm coming to Spain. Spain, you remember me? Spain? Yes, I know. I see you. It was in fact, I'm, I'm, uh, I, uh, you're my friend on WhatsApp. We used to talk. So God bless you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes, put the, put this number down. You know we are like a cuckoo. You know, you know what I mean. So <laughs> put it down. Thank you. 
Thank you, Mazi. God, God bless you. God, God bless you, Mazi. Wonderful. That is that is that is it. You know. You know. We are. You know. He. I thank God. He came to uh, to understand the testimony that I'm giving. Now he has seen God. Uh, Moses. God said to Moses, "You will see my. You will see me. You will see my back. You will not see my front. You will not see my face. But you see my back upon the rock." The rock means you on experience level. You know, you cannot see God without experience. Who are you? Nobody see God. When we talk about this, you see, God will, you know, he will break you in pieces. That is also why sometimes when we want to hear from God, when we want to see God, when we want to see his hand, uh, you know, a preacher man or a pastor or even Mazen Nanakano, now we have put also our our fasting and prayer that will soon come on what we do is you have to you have to bring down your eterical person and as a relate to your spiritual person that's what fasting does the fasting we break some certain things out of you the body and god now we have permission fasting is giving permission to the in, uh, to the divinity to operate in your uh, in your divine person god need permission to enter you somebody will say what are you trying to say of course god cannot enter you without taking a permission that is why when you see when this struggle started namo the canon have to run first to israel and surrender himself to god and that is when god entered him people who don't know don't know he understand the strategies of the war he embarked on not be somebody after eating fufu you come and say you come and say you are opening radio and then now, after three days, you will attack. And then the only thing you have to hang yourself is the only inconsequential people like Wazirike and Obi, 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 anyway, whatever. Anyway, so please forgive me if I, I, I say something wrong. Though, so one of the things that I want to tell us is there are men that have seen God. Men that have seen God are people like Job. Job saw God. Job saw God vividly. Job saw saw God. In affliction, he saw God. But at a time when he, you know, you know, there are many people like Ujime for affliction came and he vacillated. Job also wanted to vacillate, but God grasped him because of the he saw the heart of God. God always see our heart before he help us. All of us that hear our passport in the church, the God airport or in Japan, anywhere, you know, uh, you know, and you are delivered. When Job wanted to misbehave. If you doubt it, you go and read the, the scripture that I know why this scripture from the book of uh, uh, is it uh, uh, Job chapter number five. Somebody can tune that scripture. He can even call it in and read it for us that we will understand. I have a color and this color. Uh, I have a color. Let me take this color. A color. Good morning. Your name and where you are. My name is Austin. Okay. Good morning, Marcy. Good morning, Marcy. My name is Tukuma Oguba, calling from Germany. Thank you, Masi. Okay. Masi, I've been following you for a long, but, you know, uh, concern what you say about the... Uh, he will come back. This is not Zoo. Zoo will go and go forever. But as long as he's Switzerland or Italy, they will spend the most surely come back. Just one second, you see him again. Let's wait for him. We must wait. We must wait for him. I'm hearing him. I'm hearing him. Wonderful day. Wonderful day. Wonderful day, Mercy. He will come back. Just for what That is it. Moment, please. Man, you will come back. <coughs> yes. Mazu, good morning. I know. I say you will come back. This is not true. Okay, okay. I know. So, like as I was saying, I I was coming back from work on Sunday, so I saw your post on Facebook concerning this. Uh, Common criminal was linked because to me, to me, from the very first day I know that man, let's say from 1997, when I was in secondary school, I, I live in Onitsha then, 
Mm -hmm. So when they started my job of, uh, of a team, and the letter they say police arrested him or whatever. Yes. I know that that man is a criminal. Pure one. What? Who are drinking a criminal? I'm not a Muslim member. And at the same time, I'm not an IPOP member, but none of the cover have already motivated me. Even I, I called my friend, my colleague, my so called colleague. I don't, I'm not sure that he's watching, but I called him because he's an IPOP. I told him that I want to join because it's very important to contribute, no matter how small it is. Correct. Because those are our security, those are our men need to be feeding. You know, so the was. He will come back. He will come back. He will come back. I hope his call is not interrupted, but um, he will come back. We are not going anywhere. Today we'll take it easy. He will come back. He must come back. It was Rike and everybody. Like, you know, like uh, before Mazu will come back, what I'm saying is everybody knows this was Rike. They think when you go to prison, your new life starts. Was Rike is now trying to bring Uche Mefo back. And now he will, because they think that they, they don't know, they don't even know that Uche Mefo, long time is not a. He's not following Nandekal. Nandekal was just using him. Uh, he is he is he is not doing anything for the indigenous people of Biafra. But now the zoo will make mistake to to try to uh, by that time they will kill him because which I before don't know anything that Nandekal is doing. Nandekal saw him already a long time ago and put him where he belongs. He does not belong. Let me try to see. I will come as myself because I think he, I feel in the spirit he has something to tell us. Today, even if it is only two people, one person remain here, we must continue. And I think this is uh, the number of Mazi. Let me uh, let me keep calling Mazi. Mazi, let me call you myself. Let me call you myself. Correct. Mazi will speak. Unless the battery no charge, but as long as the battery is charged, I hope he will come in. So, Wazirike, what does Wazirike want to do now? He wants to play a kind of a zoo of Fulani politics. He wants to play Fulani politics. You know, he's, when, he, when Wazirike started talking that they give him offer, offer where they give him, that offer is not for uh, Indimo State, the offer is not from Abia State. I was laughing, I say, hey! <laughs> He, he want to let Uche before he stay up. When Uche before hear that, he, he will say, oh, I'm coming to take the offer. You see the tricks? This is the same way uh, Eve was deceived in the Garden of Eden. But Uche before don't know that he's dipping himself. We want to see Uche before come and need that let us really lay hands on your head and bless you. And that evil that is in him will enter you and you destroy forever and ever. Who gave offer? Offer that is... Uwazirike, even if I... I don't think uh oh we could name will offer that another one inconsequential person only there of which we see who was the case. When I told you pass it to offer, who was the case is a bro of four or four or four or four carrier was the case. Now he's trying to see if that's a person he will pass the offer. Now we was the case could have never any person from Imo State and when any person from other state I get any of four or four I see. I don't go to and I can call my children because there's never a time I wake up in the morning without laying hands on my children. I begin to tell my children, you will be blessed. You will be blessed because my father didn't do it, but I do it. I advise all of you to do it. When you wake up in the morning, lay hands on your children and you pray before you move. This is how the Jews do it. You don't know when you will die, but the last blessings you raise on your children will carry them along forever. My brothers, I'm still coming. There are many... Uh, Sometimes I, I want to feed them together, and I think people will be remembering me also from comments. Sometimes, since I say that I forgot, can we get so? Was Rike now? He now what he did was he started enticing which uh, then we could offer that offer will be given to an Brahman, and of course, a man from uh, Kereba which is the web that the right? Which before we say now, hey, this is my opportunity. 
when I come now, uh, Wazirike will bless me and give me the offer. Yes. And then I will begin to terrorize uh, Biafra. L let me tell you, whichever for. There are men on the ground. There are many people that have commanded their children to die. They are waiting for you in apartheid where you come from. This is not the time you tell me, Mazo Kongo, shut up. In the fight, no go. Anana Chogo Mao. Uche Mefo has fought a lot of people to death and he cannot go scot free. Oga go 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 go. And when you are in Ato, there are some problems that we used to share that Otara Amwebene. You go. So whosoever that ever touched up Amwebene, if you please, you know, I see my sister, you need to go. Wonderful woman is here this early morning. Unis, I'm, I hope, I hope, no be my life to wake you up. Oh. God bless you for being here. So one of the things we are saying is this, that is God. When men start to die, is when men begin to neglect the power of the Almighty. God start to give Job warning from the book of uh, Job chapter number five, where I read before. Job wanted to compromise with the with the wife trying to uh, tell him to denounce God and die because the situation is so fiasi. And the my sister Eunice Juku said was Rike is a, a bell and a sick. He is not healthy. I salute you, sister. Ekaraka. This is a great definition of Wazirike. I know it. I said it, sister, sister Eunice. You are a, you are a prophet, so. Or was it have diabetes type 5? And if you have diabetes type 5, type five what it does in the middle of Langati, uh, type 5, only make a sugar or the excess in the mind of people that you become unnecessarily active. And when you have low sugar and a high sugar, people can understand what I mean. So was it a victim of this kind of syndromes? Then, and I believe that the I believe him that now our volunteer members and of course the Eastern Security will give him the radical chemotherapy that he really need. I don't go to school in the primary I went. So my sister you need a warm house. So one of the things I want to say is then was Ricky started um brainwashing for you know sometimes please don't blame me. I I'm an artist also. I don't know how to move him over. So I like to make people laugh. And sometimes don't think that my joke, I'm not serious, but uh, I would like you to catch me sometimes on my movie side. I say, this man is talking about our four, Sabo, somebody said on the comment. And uh, I, saw, I saw also Osha, IPOB is a holy movement. If you are not upright, you will fall away. Like which I'm for. Thank you, Mazi, for that uh, comment. I'm still coming to what I'm saying. So what am I trying to say? Was Rike begin now to bring what you say before? He becomes so soft, like a snake, like serpent. His tongue is a snake, his eyes is a serpent, his head is a viper. On a joke, who deceive which before? That is why he started Ima and we had about brainwashing in the church in the use here. He pronotisms, oh, he pronotizes which before, just like Obido, Obido, we see, oh, is now brain watching the chamber for anytime you see that they open that their radio radio uh Kenya will be radio Biafra Beregran or something like that then you will see Obi Dobel will come he is the first one because only one will take two chamber for and if you look to a man who has failed you will see the kind of people that surround him number one is our is a friend to chamber for Udene is a friend to chamber for and the irrelevant governance of uh, Mwike and uh, Omahi are the friend of Uchemefo and the name Uhuru Habara. Then you will ask yourself, how? So Uchemefo has been with these people and is still under the leadership of Madden Nanakalo. This will trigger your spirit in this our struggle that you should not trust anybody but only our leader Madden Nanakalo. Are you getting it now, my sister Eunice? We cannot trust any person. Uteme for Ogana Chibulu Dele. Anyway, I don't want to talk about things that I don't uh, not that I don't know, but he was the one giving information about a lot of things. But the truth will soon come out very soon. Uteme for has been the one passing information to Dele. This man, Anna Udele, Ujaya Kibukui. 
he was the one but the answers protests brought with him out for indigenous people of biafra to move forward as the chuku as the chuku migrate you obiago udo can greet you obiago right yes my sister Eunice, i've greeted her Osha, greet you chuku karma greet you flourish adams you are here with me Osha, always on time god bless you jean jones my brother from amsterdam i greet you so he is this kind of a person and there is a need that we becomes very 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 fortified and sophisticated for this kind of people which before is a very big demon i called the first time i saw which before on the 19th of october I was diagnosing his movements. No, from 16 down to 17, 15, I was discussing with uh, my sister in America, one is familiar commentator on the platforms of Biafra, all of you know. I said, Sister, what do you think about this and this and this and this and this and this? Later, I didn't know what to do. I called my brother Mazo Abeleze, Chibu Chuku I said, Mazo, how do you see about this one? This one, this one. Mazi tell me, Mazi Koko, Mazi Chuku, Bikaba Baleze, Darlington, all of you know him by name. He said, Mazi Koko, listen, you have right to say anything you want to say, but put your words in together and they say anything you want to say. I don't understand what you want to say, but anything that God put in your heart, as you say it, Mazi Baleze, because I used to respect him as the those and the Biafran child, Sophie Owa, these are the people that I respect on this particular movement and Tamuna Toya, of course i respect them so much i don't care even if you're a child and as long as you want to make biafra come i respect you i called mazo abeleza i said listen i don't understand you before mazo abeleza tell me say mazo Kongo, if there's anything that chuko kabeba put in my heart to do i should do it and uh you know he off his phone Pan, he leave he didn't say more word i said ah, why would this man answer me this kind of thing? I called my sister Wakego in America. I said, Wakego, I want to say this thing, I want to say it like this, because which of my is no more forbidden. I see him falling down, I see, I see, and I see, you know. Wakego tell me, hey, Mazi, please, 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 my people on that side, don't go that side. I keep quiet, I don't want to talk. The next 20th, I was walking, my head was full, my was brutally angry, and then I entered into a Facebook and I saw Jimmy for talking about bullshit about Mazin and Callum. Didn't I remove? I remember what my mother told me. My, my mother said, anytime you want to make a remarkable sentences and so that people will not forget it, you say, do something extraordinary. Either you turn your shit upside down or you, you tear one of your shit that you love or you, you, you know, like Jephthah, Jephthah Burumwea. So what I did was on that 20th of uh, October, during the SS protest, I was I was having a pity for Nande Kano. Why I started attacking Uche before was when I begin to see that Nande Kano, this man will come three times a day, broadcasting. I say, ah, what is the essence of a deputy? Where is the deputy of this man? That is that is what makes me until you need to get This is what makes me to be doing attack Uche before. I said I begin to diagnose. I go to my page from the corona uh, pandemic time i never seen which of before came out to, to talk about what is happening i said no is there anything happening about between which before and the nand kano i didn't you know this thing pushed me this my entire thought pushed me to which before platform then i went to which before platform and i see which before started talking about the nand kano uh, you know and this one people who are accusing him of uh, hijacking Hey, you see me walk up, my head got caught fire like this. Because this is a man that I love, you know. As a man, let me tell you, as a woman, eh? People can say that your wife they smell, your wife no fine, you but let me tell you, any woman you love, when you love a person, when you love your wife or you love your husband, eh? let me tell you, people will see that woman as an evil woman, 
but you must love you love that woman you see which i'm for do you know why i attack which i'm for very well which i'm for is somebody that i loved before i swear to my father grave as i'm talking this thing here the first time i saw which i'm for on the platform I love this chapter for how he's talking about that time I newly entered in my, when you become newly born again. Anything they tell you about the Holy Spirit, you believe. Any amount the pastor tell you to pay, you will pay. Now so it be now so they pray watch us in the church. So when I entered, I say, ah, as long as they support the Mazin and the Kano, hey, this Biafra uh, is walking out. Uh, so anybody through Mazin and the Kano, I can't fell in love to which for. And uh, after that. I didn't understand though, which of my father come online again. When he comes, he will carry all kinds of old people, be the old people who don't die, the ancestors. Then they carry on do program. They think on the, I can't they antagonize, I can't they think about it. Nobody want to call, I'm not gonna call now. Somebody have to call, nobody will do this program. Call. If you like, don't tell us your name, just call. Now free. So the thing is, I can't be angry, I say, ah. How this man the can on, on that entire protest, you will come in the morning, come in the night, nobody that sees them. And when it is so fierce, this man come and learn and begin to shout. And then hijack our radio, delete this radio, and apply this radio, and put this radio, and delete this radio. The next thing I saw was somebody antagonizing what he said, and you are not helping. So you have been not watching the NSAS protest as a, as a supporter to the same leader. With a, what you did was, Nanakal is a, is a helping Nigerian youth so that they, their life will not be slaughtered, and you are helping the zoo to slaughter the Nigerian youth. Uchemme 4 was not only against the IPOPs, but Uchemme 4 was actually against Nigerian youth. But I thank God. Anytime he comes online, Uchemme 4 does not talk about the disintegration of Nigeria. Uchemme 4 and Wazirike does not talk about the disintegration of Nigeria. Even Osari Dokobo is better than them. Osari Dokobo, among all the saboteurs, is the only person that I've ever seen that come to land and talk about the House of Lani invading our land. Of course, he, you know, he might say it in the kitchen so that his fellow Muslims will not understand, but at least he don't try. Osari Dokobo, if there is a vote on who I will vote for, on all the saboteurs so that we can try him whether he will feature that we vote or sorry dokubo or sorry dokubo is like germans germans will tell you you are a black man you're a you have a schweizer schweizer man you know then you know that you are schweizer then you know where you place yourself in the community but you see whichever for whichever for is one of the greatest animal in the animal kingdom Uche Mefo and Obido Obienu are the latest animal, breeded animal in the animal kingdom. If I finish this thing, they will pay Facebook also to delete all the messages I give about them. No problem. God is watching everybody. But I will not stop. As I'm saying it now, even if they delete it tomorrow, as I'm saying it, my sister Eunice, my sister Obiawo, Udoka, please save this thing to your platform so that we will not lose everything. I am not careful about how many people who join my platform. I am not doing this thing that I'm doing that I want to get money. I'm not doing it to entice any man or woman, but I'm telling it like my brother Simon Epa will say the awareness of disintegration. This one, if I if it asks me to title, I will say awareness of the upcoming saboteurs. And also the new breeded animals in the animal kingdom, which is obedient and Wazirike, and of course many others will follow them. These are the greatest animal in the animal kingdom, in the zoo. Which I want to receive a offer from Wazirike. After holding a pray, uh, pray, pray, uh, program with the Ezawa on Saturday, I, I'm a, I want you people to open line for people to call. Look at, do you see where Uche before? Bring himself so low to be very stupid. Ezawa, who is irrelevant. Ezawa, who is a fool from our mama Olo, Odolo, where I'm coming from. Want to use this before? Have you seen her? <laughs> hey. Ezawa will not reach anybody. Have seen the downfall. Because if you want to fall, Ezawa will grab you. 
and they use you and do program. Is that what want to grab which before and they use this before because which before lost the dignity that Nandekano gave him? Have you seen where it's going to? Holy Shami, I greet you for understanding. Uche before bring himself so low. Flourish Adams, I greet you. We must move, brother. Uche before. I want you to leave everything, Flourish. I want you to leave everything. Think. I took a take a breath, my brothers, uh, Ulisha, and the Flores, and also many others that are here alive with me, and my, my sister Eunice Chuku. Go back, breathe in and out, and ask yourself what gives Uchebe for impetus to allow Ezawa to call him on the program. You will see the downfall of Satan. Chai. Chai. The fall of Uche before is not different from the fall of Lucifer from heaven. Just the same thing. The fall of Uche before is not the it's not different from the fall of Lucifer from Satan. When Satan was fallen, all the women and all the whole angels were crying. Oh, how have that fallen? Oh, Lucifer, the morning star, means this assistant and the praise to God. Do you know what is Lucifer? His name before was not Satan. His name was Lucifer, means the one who carried the censors of praise to heaven. But because of, Azuka, I greet you, but because of greediness, conversiousness, the Lucifer Satan fell down from above. The same way which I meant for Osari Dokubo. And of course, the latest three dangerous enemies are start to fall in. Which I for bring himself so low. The person who no program go um with <laughs> with his hour. Have you seen it? And after this program, the next person he will have program with uh, Magnus Oraka. Or or Saridokobon, whichever before will come. Do you know why he want to do that? He want to do that so that he will provoke Nam the Kano to come and talk. But let me tell you, Nam the Kano is the god of Biafra. Whether you like it or you don't want to hear it, or now you sabi. Thank you. I, I'm happy I see him back Friday. These are people I like. He said I should write on. I also see Prince DJK Johnson. Which before has finally shown that he is nothing and that of of all that was Rike is tech talking about, we never get which before. Which of all <laughs> Prince, the offer is irrelevant of all. It is what we call hypnotisms. In the pastor they use here. Yeah, when they want to when a pastor wants to rob you your money, he will tell you, brother, can I talk to you? Do you know LS? LS, he said yes. LS, I don't go before. LS was in the business in um, Adera with you. He said yes. Uh, LS was giving, he said, but my brother, I will meet you later. I can about hypnotisms and syncretisms and, of course, opium. These are the greatest weapon that the pastors we use to brainwash you. That's why I don't go to church anymore. I know all these things. Okay? I know them. They don't work. Owazirike is using the same method as Uche Mefo because Uche Mefo is as I was a child. <laughs> as I want them to make as I, I think I have to have a program with as I was one day. But I'm as I'm more as we go. You got English that day. So what we are saying is Uche Mefo becomes a low leveled person to be. To be having a program with the inconsequential person like Ezawa. It's like a man who married a beautiful woman, some of us men, who do not 
it doesn't matter whether you're married or whether married or not some of also when we're growing i make also this mistake you have a good gay friends you know that they wanted to help you in life but you know you begin to see one fault or the other you will not recognize that every woman has fault and you know maybe there's another one can go on the corner that will begin to distract your mind and you leave the woman that god has given unto you you now divert to a prostitute on this highway you know before you know it you will lose that particular woman that god has given unto you and before you know it, it is too late the same way also is a man and a woman that's why i titled my being here with you think before you act i have this problem Owazirike, have this problem the problem i have is better than Owazirike. I'm talking about on a marital level, but there's something different between a man who has betrayed the whole universe. He was Rike and Uchemefo betrayed this particular. Why I'm saying that I have this problem is the problem is you have to also acknowledge your mistakes and you come back. There's a place in the scripture that the Bible said that remember why thou have fallen and thou have to come back. Another scripture says in the book of Ezekiel, it says, circumcise yourself and return back and God will uh, accept you. But you know, Uche Mepho, the last person on earth that can come back is Uche Mepho. Number one, he created a forum. The first day, the message and the also the secret meeting came out. Uche Mepho becomes Satan. You know, you know why? He don't know how he can turn back again. The shame of Sabutua, the shame, the plot he had with Obi and the daughters of Jezebel. Do you know that even the daughters of Jezebel has littered the Ujeme so They don't come anymore. Everybody around and littered the Ujeme for. The only person where they carry him, like in Papa Grandfather and now, Obi Dobi Oko, Obi Dobi you know, this old, big-headed man that is cutting off his life is about to draw. A man who has spent all his life's years you see me in Nigeria by next year, I will be there. I was there one and a half years ago. People say, how did I enter? What do you think I you? Will they enter? Will they come out? What do you see? Did you have one more? Did you have one more juju for me? Cannot be did you have one more? All of us have our own destiny. You don't know how I succeed. I've told you partially my testimony. One day, have you been in a place there's something I want to show you. Bullet has entered my hand and come out of this place. But you know, sometimes we don't tell our people a bullet that's supposed to enter my stomach was coming from here and it came out. It didn't touch my stomach or my ribs. It fell here and it came out. I pulled it myself. And with a lot of things, I don't want to tell you about myself, but I want to hear. I want to tell you things. I'm not afraid of death. Fela Nicolepo, my friend here, he said, he carried death on the porch of his ass. A man who dies, nobody dies. When you begin to become acquainted with the truth, the truth, when the truth gets into you, you will never die anymore. Then you become an extraordinary human being. That's why you see Nandekar, kind of, when he wants to talk, he talk to you. He, he unleash every truth, both from Asorok to London to anywhere. Because he has seen that Nandekal is already a dead living man and there's nothing hidden from his sight. Everything Nandekal tell you, when he tell you where is no more there, is true. When he tell you, when Nandekal came out and tell you no man in Asarok, you don't need to go and open chapters of the scriptures or volumes of book to know. Because this man, he know, he, Nandekal, as I'm talking to you, he's in Daura. You people want him to talk from Daura? He's there. People they say where the man they where is they where I want to find another color. He's in Nigeria as I'm talking to you. Let me open it, or can make you forgive me because of the leaking the secret. He's there. If you don't know, know it now. When he goes, when he comes, you'll be looking for him in a fairy book who's not there. The same way they are looking for Jesus Christ in the book of Acts. People are waiting for him to come back the same way he comes. <laughs> now, Make a tell on Make a tell on The Nigerian government has taught us that you can use a mask and travel to anywhere. So all the faces you see on the road, or you see on the road, are not the real face. So. 
Emmanuel has tell the uncle in a Mac, Mac Angel's movie. He said, this is not my real face. Yo. You must understand. Biafra is a movement of the spirit. The line is open for anybody who wants to call. If you don't want to call, I cut it off. And uh, I am going to fix a program with my sister, as I was. Maybe she will invite me. Uh, I'm going to call her somewhere, so we have to make some programs, and I think it's going to be very powerful. But I will be able to ask her. I don't speak Igbo very good, but we will mix some. As I, as I the most, I'm going to ask her because I like her program. She always like to bring um, some kind of things. I've been longing to uh, hit her on her program, and of of course to unleash my mind from her platform she's a very intelligent woman and i want all of you to also view her pages on Igbo language she's doing great very very great and of course please i want you also to visit our brother Maze abalaze all of you know him and Maze to became abalaze these are the really formidable uh, comrades that we have as long as biafra is concerned there are many people who jumped in during the corona period who they also jump out but we're still here fighting and they let Biafra come as i'm talking to you so many platforms now the gun is there watching from his daughter or his wife's platform but you will not know sometimes he can be watching from as well as the platform you don't know that is there so there there as, as, as i was to say that would be awesome and i would like that very much as i have to fix it as soon as possible they will hit the whole world and i think it will be very nice when you invite me give me a code i will come in and we do some very powerful program and we can also bring some of the brothers in i always admonish my sister as almost this is very powerful if she never married for seven can go marry her you know but uh, she's engaged with somebody Anyway, I will not penetrate before I come. I come EP. You are gonna. So I want to thank all my comrades and especially those of you who are who have been subscribing on my page. This page, you see, I don't get anything. I don't subscribe it for money, and I want you to follow me. The reason why you have to follow me, follow us, I follow you. You can follow your Sophia. Follow all of us that are on this page is because we have a good news for you. We are here to return the mind of people, especially our people in Igbo. I think I have a caller. I think I have a caller. The caller on the line is calling. Uh, I think I have a caller. Uh, let me see if I can pick it. Call on the line. Good morning from England. This is Mazo Kongo. Good morning. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. God bless you. Hello, caller. I think I lose this caller. Let me call back again. I'm going to call you because I have a lot of times. The reason why I take it easy because today I'm not going anywhere. I see a caller online. No, this is not the caller. Uh, caller online, please do do call back again if you can. If you can, please do call back again. We we, we must continue. And Chuko Kabiama is our leader, is our helper, and of course the great leader and the Mazin and the Kanu is our leader. We must be formidable. So, like I was saying before, you have to follow the platform of some of our brothers and sisters, and we must um, we must. Be resolute in everything that we are doing. I saw this caller. Let me call back again. I hope it is. Please call. I don't know the number. I have a lot of uh, missed calls here. You can call me back and then I will pick your call definitely so they can talk to the people. So I want you to always share our platform. Some of you, many people want me to become their friends on the Facebook. I have come to the maximum. And numbers of the people that can be my friend you can always follow me or if you invite me i can become also your friend there are two ways to do it if you invite me and they send me a friend a friend uh, link uh i can also follow you while you follow me so that we can be uh we can come together my page is already full that i cannot follow some people anymore i see someone who called me here let me see if it's uh this particular a person there was a person that called me let me see if it is this number on, on, on a normal call let me see 
let me see all right so i will be closing this uh oh the person called on um please call her you can uh, call me on the whatsapp i saw the number four 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 seven four three that end with the 488 please you can call back on the whatsapp if you can i i don't call the red oh december uh, hello caller did you call us today Mazi? good morning who do you want the live program i'm from this miss call and say i'm going to work with before uh, uh, no, I I yes, I was on program. I saw a number from England, so I was thinking you are the one that called, but I, I found out that the number is about 844 something. Good morning. We are live program, sir. No. Mm. Yeah, I, I'm not yet, I'm not yet called. I will call. Okay, will yes. call. okay, Mas. So. God, God bless you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So the person that called before called direct, and the me, I don't call, I cannot call direct from this number. And um, God bless us. So now we are the indigenous people of Biafra. I see this morning when I look at, I just woke up early in the morning. I was very, very uh, angry when I begin to see a lot of things that have been happening. But I think that God uh, is doing a great things in our life. And we are proceeding and we are succeeding. So please go to the indigenous people of Biafra, come to Facebook, look at our sisters and our brothers, those people who are fighting to make Biafra come. Like as I mentioned before, I have my sister, Samuel Sosofio, who are from Igodomi, Igodo, myself, and we have Ikenga Ibo TV from India. We are doing great. And of course, uh, Abalanze, Mazu Abalanze, all of us were here, Starboy, Vista, Mazuche, and of course, people from uh, the River Rhines join us. And of course, also, if you never have the IPOB community radio, please download it. There you meet Mazu Abalanze, Mazu Aipitas, Mazu Kechukwono. They are very powerful comrades on our radio Biafra community radio you will hear some certain things and also endeavor to call in especially in the radio uh, Biafra community radio you will hear a lot of things radio Biafra when you download it it doesn't cost money it is less internet less energy from your phone only put your earphone and you will listen to four hours and may God bless you I am going to arrange of course, a program with Asam Wosu, and we will tell you when it will soon come. As you can never say no. I'm saying it because she is a woman, and I know, and it will going to come. We will we'll choose for a topic, and we we'll talk it over, and the whole world will listen and I believe what we're saying. May God bless you for being here. I am your brother Mazu Okonkwa Austin, aka Evangelist. May God bless you and keep you. He said. Good afternoon, and also good evening. Depends on where you're following us from. I am Mazichika Austin, and uh, I am here once again to for us to deliberate on the current development, the current ongoing development, of course, uh, ongoing development as regards to to federal government's uh, new position on the rampaging Fulani Hesme. So we want to look at what led to the possible U-turn and what led to the sudden U-turn, so to say. Why did the government that have invested heavily in campaigning for Ruga, protecting the Hesmen, talking about what they call Kaurus? You remember those stories? How come about um, how come about as such? government has spent huge amount of money lobbying for states to accept Ruga, that spent huge amount of money talking about cow roots, cattle roots, something like that, making a sudden position this 
um, this as in today that they are no longer buying into the idea of you know having the hesmen roaming about there are many things to that than most of us might see from the pages of newspapers but before we go to the nitty-gritty of this evening's uh, discussion it's important to confirm to us that you are getting us loud and clear one and it's also important you share this program so that those who ought to or who um, who are meant to follow up can as well get across this evening's program so make use of your sh uh, your share button and uh, do the needful and also it's important you we are uh, you confirm from us so sorry confirm for us if you're getting it loud and clear and if that is done then we we have to make analysis uh, i think okay thank you uh agnes teller thank you so much uh, i think we must appreciate the fact that what have been keeping us going in this course is our ability to analyze every analyzable so to say we've been trying our possible to even when people say to us good morning we try to look into the good morning from critical point of view to see if truly it is good if the morning is good if the time is morning so it has been keeping this struggle and that's why we have been exceptional generation uh, generation we've been doing incredible at the bewilderment of our distractors because we don't just you don't just tell us good morning and you expect us to accept it hook line and sinker so we do everything possible to make an objective evaluation objective appraiser um, objective analysis of whatever is put on our table or our tables as a people and that is exactly what we are going to look at um, how come a country a government that uh, you know invested a government that invested huge at amount of money in lobbying state governors to buy into Ruga project and when Ruga was facing a lot of oppositions they started talking about cattle rules and they start tracing it to colonial time so you cannot just tell me that this con a government has spent a lot of a lot of money lobbying stakeholders in various states of south and the middle belt a, a government that spent a lot of money on media front to sell Ruga to sell um, acceptability of Fulani settlements all of a sudden is abandoning this project and uh, not just making a secret the linking from it but they came openly to say they are no longer into what they spent heavily to you know to have others subscribe to so this is what we are going to look into this evening and i think um we are going to ask ourselves a lot of questions because There is causations. Some thing might have transpired. There must have been something that made these guys who came with fulanization mentality to start subpeddling, start reviewing, and above all, having a unilateral decision of withdrawing from what they have invested having so we are going to look at a lot of possibilities a lot of factors that might have led to that but before that is important we understand that 
this government have stood on a strong position on the side of having Fulani settlements all over the country. They have spent hugely billions of naira lobbying the governors of southern Nigeria and North Central or Middle West. They have also spent heavily in buying a lot of um, PR companies. I'm talking about public relations companies. They have been lobbying to make sure there is or there was a good uh, public relations on this front. So they have done a lot of expenditures on making sure the project of having full and settlements in their targeted and desired states are achieved. We've seen them trying to do that legislatively, try to do that through other means, and um, all of a sudden they're abandoning that. But yes, we might have our different speculative positions. But I'm going to look at some possibilities that are close to facts. And we are going to look at those from critical point of view. Some persons might say it is as a result of the launching of Eastern Security Network, which the modus operandi of ESN lies on cleaning our forest of these terrorists. We know the, the, the mission statement of ESN is not ambiguous. It's simply stated that it is to achieve peace and placidity in our farmlands to enable our mothers, our women, our fathers, and our siblings to have access to their farms without anybody harassing them. That we know too well. So some persons might come up and say it might be as a result of the launching of um, ESN that led to so this sudden revised by a pro Fulani government. So some persons also s speculated that they want to withdraw the Fulani federal government in order to launch a successful um, military attack against ESN. That also might also be close to fact. And uh, some other persons also might say that is as a result of national pressures. It looks they have tried to press on and it looks the issue of headers is no longer a workable one and they decide to stop that. These are also another reason. Some other person might probably say, considering the fact that farmers are no longer producing as a result of the activities of these headsmen who are terrorizing their families. And if you look at it from ec economic land, uh, land scale, um, you will understand that if you discourage your farmers from the land, from their farms, definitely you have no other option than to liquidate your foreign reserve on importing foreign foods because it's an inevitable thing you must to do. If you can produce, you must look for elsewhere to 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 have food. So considering the fact that Nigeria is currently economically in a mess, in a severe economic mess. So some people said they want to make sure the farmers return back to their farms. So in order to produce which will lead to them cushioning the depletion of um, the foreign reserve. So these are possibility things people looked at. But we are going to look at all this from critical points of view, very, very important. We are going to dive into them. And while we are analyzing, you are definitely going to, on your individual discretion, you are going to know 
what might be a close possibilities why the, the, the sudden decision came up. So we, we go for the first one, which is as a result of um, economic mess which the country finds herself. Uh, possibly the federal government is now, uh, uh, of course, a, a, a pro Fulani government is now considering allowing the farmers to have access to farm in order to have food for the nation. Yes, to me, this is also a very, might also be a very good factor. But I don't see it as an absolute one because if you look at Nigeria as it, as it is now, as we speak, she's in a very big economic mess. There is a very serious economic pandemic that the country is suffering. And also is destructively that why the government, the country is, suffer, uh, is suffering of economic depletion. On the other hand, there is hunger, there is demand for food. Because every country primary, apart from secure, securing of lives and property, the next thing a country owns her citizens as a responsibility is food security. Because you must provide, a country must have not just only production of foods, she should also have what we call food reserve, a quantifiable food reserve for the feeding of her citizenry. If a country lacks good production and good reserve management, that country is already a goner. So in the case of Nigeria, as we speak to you, Nigeria is importing over 70% of our food consumption, mainly on rice and other carbohydrate meals, which are mostly consumed here. She is importing all this from a countries, from some countries which she ought to have been better than. You know, at earlier time, the, uh, the, the government was warned of the need to protect the farmer's interest. But because of high fulanization mentality within the circle of those running the government, because they want to entrench fulani interest against national interest, they never listen to experts. Somebody like uh, Awudowe, remember the Minister for Agriculture, even advised that if you allow farmers not to, if you make farmers not to have access to their farms, it's going to culminate into low production. And because there is low production to feed the population, definitely Nigeria will have no other option than to use her savings, her foreign reserve, to import foods from other countries. And these guys felt it was not important for them. They felt that the advice was not worth taking. And guess what? Why the farmers were afraid to go to farm? There was the, 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 the production, agro production, was running low beyond expectation. And you know what? Nigeria was forced to start buying foods, millets, rice, grains, and all the rest of them from other countries, thereby liquidating, depleting her foreign reserve. Before she knew what was happening, she has already mesmerized her economy and turned her agro life into dependency. Turn her agro life onto depending on other countries. And you know what that means? 
So if somebody comes up and says they have realized their mistake and they are not calling back their rampaging hesme, who? Me! It is a plus. It's also reasonable. Now let's also look at other possibility. You know, I have just made clear on this. If somebody says for the interest of national food production, they are having rethinking. To me, is a sellable idea. But also, considering the level of flanization in the bloodlines of those managing the government, one will also be skeptical to say, well, that never holds water share. Considering the fact that the, those managing the government currently love their cows better than national food security. So you can now also see on the contrary, that argument might, might not also be a sellable one. So let's also look at the argument on withdrawing the herdsmen in order to attack. Yes, some persons position, uh, you know, posit on that. Some persons say um, that might also be possibility. But to me, uh, I don't really buy to that idea because Nigeria is currently is now. I'm not playing, I'm not underrating anyone. But the truth remains, Nigeria as it is now cannot consider going into military confrontation with Biafrans. Because as it stands now, they are on zero national harmony to achieve that. Mind you, from 1967 to 1970, they were able to achieve what they achieved because those in North Central, those in Southwest, and even some of our people subscribed into that idea of one Nigeria. You should know that. And you should also consider that, consider this fact that Nigeria just got independent in, you know, uh, <clears throat> Nigeria got independent in 1960, and in 1967, just barely seven years, the war broke out. So some people who fought on the side of Nigeria even felt that the country, the new country, the nascent country was not given enough time to prove to be a leader of black race in Africa. So some of them felt, why should we break up just seven years after our independence when we know this is the only largest black race or black country in Africa? So let's support her so that she can defend the pan-African ideology. So the ideology of the time regulated a lot of guys. But as it stands currently, there are over 98% of people in Nigeria who are tired of the union, who are not ready to commit their lives for the union. The rest, the rest 2% are just the elites who see the country as an estate for their own benefits. They don't even love the country because if they love their if they love the country, their children would have been enrolled in the military. So you understand what we are talking about here. So if you say they are withdrawing in order to attack, I don't see Nigeria based on my analysis, based on my fact, I don't see Nigeria as a country that is held to prosecute any war. Because before a country prosecute a war, she must consider first and, first and foremost the degree of national integration, the degree of patriotism. Because 
It's not ghosts that are going to be on the trenches. They are humans. But by, as it starts now, Nigerian youths are detached from the idea of Nigerian cons, uh, project. Even those in the military are angry with the, the country because so many of them, like the uh, uh, defense headquarters release press statement, as uh, release internal memo a few days ago about the delay in payment of so many officers from November and December. So, so, so many of these guys are not even ready to die for the cause of Nigeria. So if you say they are pulling Hesme in order to attack, the question you should ask yourself, attack under which motivation? Is it motivation because there is patriotism, the youths are ready to die for Nigerian project? The Ududu White youths are ready to die for Nigerian project? The North Central youths, Middle West are ready to, or the Biafra? So when you look at these factors, you find that that idea would be suicidal for anyone to take. Also consider how would Nigeria think of prosecuting a war at this time she's facing severe international arm embargoes because she's being restricted from buying a lot of arms she wanted. Currently a lot of countries are restricting her from assessing sophisticated weapons. So, and also, is a country that does not have what we call military industrial complex. She does not produce anything indigenously. Rather, she does what we call assemblage. She just assemble in Kaduna, NDA, in some cases. So, how will you expect a country that is finding it difficult to assess arms in, in international arm markets? And the same way that cannot produce what she needs, and what she, you know, need to prosecute a war domestically. So how will you expect such country to go into war? So you can now understand if you hear them, if you see them delaying since the announcement of ESA, and you will now understand some of these factors. Also. This is a country that is trying to battle seriously to clean her image over international criminal courts. She's already charged not to charge. She's already facing dual grave, uh, grave cases, severe cases. She's facing the indictment of war against humanity. Crime against humanity, I mean to say. She's also facing another crime known as war crime. So a country that needs her image to be cleaned up is already beclouded with international concern. Because the generals you expect to go and prosecute this war are already shortlisted that if they are indicted, if they are found wanting by international criminal court, they spend all the remaining years of their life in international detention. So, and all of them know what awaits them. So they might not consider this because they already have a disrelating image before Committee of Nations. And also, you should also understand that when it comes to manpower, how many of them can be seen in the land? Because if you say they are withdrawing because they want to attack, are you not telling the international community that you want to, you're withdrawing the headsmen and you want to attack the men and women of ESN because they say they want to fight the terrorists in the forest. Because if you watch the, 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 the 
modus operandi or what or if you are, if you understand the mission of ESN the mission of ESN is not to wage war against Nigerian nation on Nigerian government understand that the mission of ESN is to protect the, our land and fight against the terrorists who are already camping in our forest so if nigeria government decides to take war against esn what they are telling the international community is that the terrorists who are camping in the forest belongs to them belongs to them that the terrorists that esn are going after are their proceeds and you know what that means is another damaging action on their own side so that's why i say that of withdrawing in order to attack might not really be there because hmm, they understand that if there is plunging of this country into war, the middle belt man will be fighting a war of revenge against those who have been killing them, who have been rampaging their communities. The Duduwa man will fall into forest to avenge the death of their top daughters and sons, including the ordinary Yoruba man that these guys have been killing. And same will happen here. So Nigeria does not have what it takes to ignite any war. It, no, we must we must be frank. She does not have what it takes. And also, you should also understand that in every state in Biafran land, you cannot get up to 1,000 Nigerian military officers. It's not possible. In every state of Biafran land, you cannot have up to 1,000 Nigerian military officers. So if you cannot have up to 1,000 Nigerian military officers, and in that state you have over 5,000 volunteers who are ready to defend their land. So how do you think that less than 1,000 military officers can overpower over 5,000 indigenous people in every state and the more so it's suicidal to act that way and if some of you say okay well they are going to uh, deploy from the northeast and northwest believe you me they cannot do it because they understand that if they create any single vacuum in the northeast and northwest the bandits will overrun their communities and they don't want that they don't want to focus here and lose their buildings and end up not going home again. So it's really, really an issue of concern. I must tell you. Because if they dare push some enforcement from their place here, why they are already having deficit? Because Places the bandits are operating, the military are not military presence are not noticed there. You remember what Brunel State Governor said the day before yesterday that he drove from Medugri to a nearby community in Brunel State, and the military were nowhere to be found. So already they are running deficit, human deficit in northwest and northeast. So if they now redeploy those people because they want to prosecute war in east believe you me they will end up getting their people overrun so you can now understand why the only option that is left is for them to consider referendum but that is by the way because we are talking strictly on how, why they are withdrawing the headsmen. So 
that is why I said this is not on the table. The issue of they are withdrawing to attack is never on the table. Because it's practically impossible. It's practically impossible. It's practically in fact it's suicidal. And I would also want to tell us because sometimes some of us will say, eh, when you say this, you are giving them secret. Is there is nothing secret about it? They know it. They know they, they know it. If they don't know about it, by now they would have been messing up on our streets. So you can now understand the intricacies facing them. So if they are withdrawing the, 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 the you know, rampaging hasmen, one thing is certain to you that they are now seeing because we have considered the economic uh, reasons, we have considered the issue of withdrawing to attack. Let's now look at since the introduction of Eastern Security Network. Could that be the reason why they are withdrawing? To me, that is the reason I'm seeing. I don't see the reason of withdrawing in order to attack. I'm not seeing the um, uh, economic purpose door closer. I'm seeing more of withdrawing because of the presence of Eastern Security Network. And I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. Nobody takes you serious until you possess what he possesses. That is just the simple the way it is. And remember, they understand. They understand currently, because if you look at number of periods, men and women of ESN trained, got equipped, and their level of intelligence gathering, you will understand that it's never a choice play. In fact, to 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 uh, full and ruling class, they they are feeling highly disappointed on the governors because they they, they are wondering how these guys got trained, equipped, and deployed without the governors who call themselves chief security of states getting to know about it and it's a shocking issue is is a shock to them so when you have such display when you have such you know presence it leads to what we call reorientation reorientation ability of members of esn to train equip mobilize with highly classified information Is the reason why everybody is redrawing on their perception of IPOB and her way of doing things. Because you cannot claim <coughs> owing the land like some politicians alleged. And you have number of people, no less than, not less than, ten to fifteen thousand persons, coordinated, properly taken care of, properly kitted and deployed, 
without your notice and you say you are in charge of the state. You are just a ceremonial a ceremonial fork. You are just there ceremonially. So this is what they are now looking at and they discover that indeed those they are relying on as a power brokers in the region are not indeed power brokers in the region. <laughs> yes, that is really is really shocking because they are beginning to feel disappointed that those they felt are in control of the land are not even in control of the land. And it's, it's always the way it is. When you feel disappointed on a structure, you have to go back and review your trust on that structure. That is just the way. Because these guys believe that they have already, they, they own the land, they have planted a lot of guys at the level of governors, politicians, and even the likes of Wazrike that they have already, there's, there is nothing that can happen without their radar picking it up. Considering the level of individuals and groups they have set up to watch. So how can you not tell them that these individuals are, and groups, they set up to watch, to monitor, and they feed them with information about the movement of the indigenous people of Biafra only woke up and be shown that an outfit has been trained to protect the land. So it's shocking. They have a true notion they are seeing it. They are seeing it either it is as a result of sabotage from those they paid, they planted in the land. They are seeing it that is either sabotage or they are totally disconnected from the land. That is the, that is the two angles they are seeing it. And you, you, you know, you imagine in a situation where you think your men are on the ground, your men have consolidated, they are doing a wonderful job. All of a sudden you see such a thing it will be risky because it is really traumatic. You will start feeling a high insecure. You will be feeling highly vulnerable. That's why you see both the federal government, both other individuals are, as in Mieti Island and the rest of them, they seem to be dumbfounded. There is shock. They are just trying to wake up from the, 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 you know, the shock. How did this happen without them knowing? It's just a shock. So they are not beginning to see that in as much as members, men and women of ESN have been deployed, there is high tendency that they are terrorists they have circulated all the land we feel the heat of the men and women of ESN. They know what is happening because they felt disappointed that the governors they rely on could not spy on the training of men and women of ESN. That the groups they set up and some individuals like Wazrike who was bragging that they know he is a stakeholder and this, this, this. Only for him to realize that he's absolutely nobody. He's just a floating stakeholder. So they feel shocked. They feel, in fact, it's a trauma. They are, they are yet to wake up from. Now, how manage? How did it happen? So they now felt that if this thing can happen, their boys, they have already put on the ground, are already in jeopardy. 
because if men of ESN came with a stick, could have been a different ballgame. But what they saw in display and the subsequent things that are yet to come makes them to start thinking of evacuation to withdraw. Because it's unbelievable. And they don't want to start counting their losses. They don't want to start counting numbers of their losses while the international community will be asking them where and um, what were you doing when these terrorists were flooding this people's forest? Because they know that considering, you know, these guys are not stupid. They, are, they know that considering to the fact that IPOB has built a very radical media approach, very radical, in the sense that IPOB can popularize whatever she wants to popularize in less than, less than 10 minutes. She can trend it and force it to be trending. So they don't want in a situation where the camps of these their boys in our forest will be heated by members of ESN and there will be coverage of it and the world will be shown and the world will be asking them so you camp a lot of these terrorists in the forest of this world so they don't want that shame because they understand the shame that is going to you know face them by the time these terrorists are met in our forest and uh, repelled and brought to the limelight to the notice of the war they know they will have nothing else to explain to the war are you going to tell the world that those we uh, esn met in in the camp in the thick forest with arms that they are headers they cannot tell the world that so all they are doing is a kind of retrieving evacuating speed retriever of those they are planted because they know that these guys are not laughing so you cannot understand and also it's important because today we took time to move around our forest where our mothers were not earlier given access to ground farm we move around and we discover that those who were occupying those places are no longer, they are nowhere to be found. Just at the mention of ESN, everyone is disappearing. So you cannot understand what we are talking about. That the government So, you can now understand what is happening. That the government knows what she's doing. Because you cannot just explain to us that a government has spent hugely in projecting Luga, in projecting uh, Kato Cruz, in projecting what different names is now coming back to disassociate herself from those they spent money lobbying for them to have a place in areas they are not indigenous to. So you cannot understand what we are talking about. You cannot understand what we are talking about. So we must, as a people, commend our men and women who are out to defend our land because with what we are seeing we are really really going back to the way we used to be 
where there is peace, no disturbance, no criminality, no kidnapping, nobody is harassing anybody, nobody is sleeping with fear. And that's exactly what we are now noticing that is returning back to our society. Because we are now seeing those we used to see lottering all over our lands, moving carelessly and, you know, talking to our mothers and daughters anyhow. They are nowhere to be found any longer. And is a is a is a worthy one. So if the government has taken it as a responsibility to withdraw the hessmen, you know, it is a welcome one. And finally, before we come to the end of the program, you know, sometimes I, I have people. I have people do say, um, what is the level of our people supporting Eastern Security Network? I laugh. The governors might not support because they already bullied. Most of them are not there by people's legitimacy. You know how most of them got there? They got there as a result of Abuja's endorsement. So because they are endorsed by Abuja, they are loyal to Abuja. Yes. So, and when, how do you even measure? I, like I told somebody, I, I wrote today on one of the national dailies. I said to them, how do you even measure what we call our people's support? How do you measure support? If a governor said he's not interested or in support of our well-being, our security, that is just his own individual opinion. He's just one person. Is he telling us that his support have influence on over 5,000 people who join ESN and those who are still eagerly wanting to join even to tomorrow so how do you even i don't understand they are just about uh, five five individuals okay to give them a little coverage maybe we say them and their commissioners calculate them they are not even up to a kindred numerically speaking they are not up to a kindred. And we are having, we are seeing hundreds of, you know, thousands of people identifying with this project, not by mere comment, but by saying, please train us, we want to protect the motherland. And they are telling me because people who are less than a kindred in number, said no because we knew where their loyalty is we knew how they have to defend the seats they are and you said because they said nobody's and also very very important one thing our people don't understand is like some intelligent people have been saying especially from yoruba and other non biafran land they've been asking how who fund who funded this great project because ordinarily you know how difficult it is for nigerian police to even kit her police officer she nigerian police does not kit them they buy their uniform because it's really really expensive for them to achieve that so the governors might be here But we have men and women. We have billionaires in Biafra. We have men and women who are thinking for the protection, for the well-being of their people. They might not be governors, but they are richer than governors. They might not be governors, but they have more integrity than the governors. 
they might not be governors, but they are more nostalgic than the governors. They might not be governors, they have love for the motherland. So don't say because people, five individuals were pushed to make a press statement to counter. That means they are speaking for the generality. It doesn't, it doesn't make sense. Go to public opinions, go to opinion sample, sampling, then you understand. If ESN is enjoying popular support or not. Just make opinion sampling. So the governors are just there to sound politically correct. Even down in their hearts, they want safety. Because no matter how you place, you know, how you uh, love outsider than uh, just like uh, director sometimes said, it's just the way. They know that no matter their gains because of the positions they occupy, they know that they equally want their communities done in their heart. They might not say it. They want the people to protect their land. They want it. The governors want it. Forget because they want to be politically correct. They want to please those who gave them the seat. But down in their heart, the insecurity is also a disturbance to them. Because that thing you did to a common man that he died, if you do it to a governor, he will still die. If you do it to a governor's relative, he will still die. They know this. So people should understand, this is my own personal opinion, people should separate the difference between a droning man's world and the man who is fit his world. You know, when a man is drowning, he finds himself in a river and he's struggling to, to, to survive. He can say anything. That is exactly the situation of some of our politicians. They're already bullied. They're already into big trauma. They are being traumatized. So sometimes you see them speaking all these things. You should understand that Sometimes that is not whom they are. That is not as really as in, that is not really what they want to say. But they are saying it out of frustration, out of bullying, out of cowardice. That is just the way it is. That is just the way it is. Because even them, they want that security. Even them, they need to be protected. They want it. Forget, forget all these grammatizations and all this. They want it. But the only thing sometimes that gives them worry is that I hope this person will not stop us on the way. They even see it. They want it because they know that as far as they are evil, be our friends. As far as they know, as far as they are from Ijo, as far as they're from Igodomigo, any part, that they have a limit at which they can clamp in their political career. They know it. They understand the appetite, the political appetite. They understand it. It's not good for them. They don't. They are not happy doing it, but it's just because hunger for power and lack of boldness. Some of them have soiled their hands. So that is just what we are talking about. So we'll be following the development, make no mistake about it. We'll be following it as uh, time progresses. We'll be watching how the thing is evolving and we'll be coming with analysis. So I want to thank every one of us who joined and also um, we must be praying, we must be supporting financially and otherwise to our men and women who have taken it as a responsibility to save our land against the terrorists. And we must be protecting, we must be doing everything possible to, to protect them. So I want to thank everyone and I want to say be strong and we move on.
nothing can stop us. Thank you.